What's up, everybody? I'm sorry to say that our boy Danny Mullen, he's on one of his little uh, adventures, as he likes to call them. Um, uh, also known as him and uh, his friend Adam Fu are going uh, deep into the woods. And, um, you know, I don't really like to question what he's doing with his friend alone in the woods for days on days. No cell phone, no contact with the outside world. I don't know what he's doing, but. I'm going to try to give you guys the best possible episode. It was a last minute thing we had to do. Uh, Austin is going to his sister's wedding. So congratulations to Austin's sister. Yep. Congrats. Getting married. She's congrats. off the market. Going to Hawaii. So if you're in Hawaii, I guess hit me up. Hit up Austin if you're in Hawaii, man. And, you know, maybe you guys could go out and do some spear fishing. I don't know what you do <laughs> in Hawaii. Uh, but we do have the new channel cameraman here to my right, Kelvin. I don't know if I should use your full let's name. Let's bleep that, please. All right, I let's bleep you. that. I can't use your full name, but uh, I'm humbled to be here, honestly, Leo. Appreciate you, man. Yeah, You've yeah. Uh, before anything, you were a fan, weren't you? I was. You're sorts. still a fan. Yeah, obviously. That's great, man. Yeah. Well, I appreciate you. Yeah. Am I your favorite YouTuber? You're definitely one of my favorite YouTubers. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> dude, that's fucking right, dude. <laughs> I uh, I saw I met a fan the other day, uh, and uh, you know I was with a chick, and uh, this guy waited until the girl went to the bathroom and then asked me for a pic what what were you thinking buddy <laughs> like if there's one thing i want you guys to know is if you see me in public no matter where i am maximize the amount of women around me and then go big, go big. you don't wait till the girl's gone you don't wait till the girl <laughs> is gone it is the best move to come up when, when you're with the chick, though. Yeah, I Because I've had a fan do that to me once, mm. and it, it was it definitely it's life-changing. pretty, pretty yeah. good, dude. Yeah, it makes you feel really good about yourself, and, uh, you know, the girl will just uh, for sure blow you in the next hour. You have, like, a great hour window where you can just, like, you can grab by the pussy, as, you know, Donald Trump might say. You know what I mean? Social proof. Yeah. Yeah. Calvin, you've been out with, uh, you know, our, our pet rat, which I'm debating whether to call today, because I know he's... He told me today he's officially evicted. And, you know, I, I want the casual fan, you know, the, to, to click on the old video. So maybe we'll call Rat Dick. But we also need to call someone for advice right now. Yes. It's someone that is the channel clairvoyant. <laughs> or Sage. You could, or you sage. could call her our Sage. Absolutely. Could call her that, yeah. She's very important to the channel. And, you know, the channel is in a strange little place right now. A lot of crazy stuff happening. A lot of, you know, a lot of beef within... You know the uh, the crew, and it's time to call Sandrine and get her advice. Do you think she could predict the future to see how long Rad Dick's gonna live? Yeah, I mean, yeah, we're gonna ask her. It's gonna be great. She could try. Yeah. Sandrine will have the answers, and that's why we're calling her. All right. Well, channel clairvoyant. I just called you the channel clairvoyant. Would you agree that that is a good moniker for you? Absolutely, and since Dan, uh, D Danny's not for this podcast, so his wife's taking over Sandrine Mullen for the. Oh, podcast. his yeah. it's Sandrine oh, like it. Mullen. It. <laughs> yes, <laughs> it, I, I've never heard it like that. But wow, you're not going to hyphenate your last name. You're giving. You're going to give your your last name away, and 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 it's going to be Mullen. Well, I, you know, actually, if I did get married to him, I, I might keep it. But you know, for that moment. A few minutes ago, I was thinking about it. I was like, yeah. going to start off with that. She's now, got to change her Instagram. Now, you right did now. ask me, okay, if Danny has been talking to you about you recently. So I want to give you the most, you know, up-to-date and honest intel on that. And it's probably going to be a lie knowing you guys. It's you not know, a line. It's podcast. what happened. Kelvin was there. We were in the car. Yeah. And Kelvin, the new cameraman who's sitting to my right, uh -huh. he, he was the one that asked her. Asked him. He asked him. Sorry. He goes, hey. What if Sandrine was the last girl in the world, though? Would you marry her? And Danny, like, immediately, without thinking, he goes, yeah, of course. I mean, if she's definitely if she's the last girl in the world, I mean, might as well, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, that's kind of an insult, as I said. Why do you think that's an insult? Last girl in the world, really, Leo? But still, I mean, it, it, it means that at least he has an, like, there's, I think there's a chance. I think there's, like, a one, you know, there's some kind of chance in a there. One in I think eight there's billion. a lot. There's a very high chance that we could be together because there's a lot of lovely things occurred off camera. So. Okay, so do you think you really believe that you're going to end up with Danny Mullen? Probably. And it, what if you don't though? What if it doesn't happen? I mean, you guys are bi-coastal. Yeah, I mean, I'm all right. I mean, I'm still. 
since he's still not talking to me, I am talking to some people online that mm-hmm. are uh, that I, I'm not that I I don't know them or anything, but I talk to them and try to get to know them a bit and keeping my options open. Who are you talking to but, online? I don't like this. Why are you cheating on Danny Mullen? Danny's not even talking to me hardly. Does he does he respond to your text messages? No, he doesn't. He'll reshare a story. He'll read my text, but he's just you know Scorpios are very secretive. And I I think you got to play a little that. harder to get. You know what I mean? I don't know if it was the right move to post him on your story and say he looked unbelievably handsome. <laughs> San, Sandrine's world, by the way. Follow Sandrine on Instagram. She is a good follow. Sandrine's world. She uh, she can give you advice. Like okay, for example, we wanted you to know. I know that you're a, you know in many ways. You are, uh, you know, you're connected to the afterlife. You can kind of uh, see, some people would say you could see the future. Would um, you say that? I mean, to an extent, sometimes, absolutely. We wanted to ask you, how long does Rat Dick Ralph have to live? <laughs> oh, my God. I don't know that. What are your... Qu- do, no, what, I, I don't want to... What do you think about Rat Dick I, Ralph? I, 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 we're not talking it. We're not going to waste time. Talking about all I can say is that I hope he, I hope he stops taking drugs. That's all yeah. I can say. Is there a world where you would give him a chance? He said that you are one of the hottest. No. For he me said, to hang up, Leo, what if I'm he sorry. cleaned up? What if he cleaned up? Don't hang up. What? No, he he really did say that he's super attracted to you, and like I no, do. No, Leo, I'm gonna hang up. I don't hang up on me. Up? Don't hang up? up on me. Am I a star seed? Yes or no? Yes, you are. Yes. I don't know what it means, but I don't know what that means, but I'm glad that I am a starseed. You're a beautiful, beautiful Lyrian starseed to to what I can deduce. That's right, dude. I'm a Lyrian starseed. We got to get her updated perspective on the the war in Israel now. We got her details on Ukraine. There's a new war. Yeah, there's a new war, actually, we did want to ask you about. Austin brought up a good point. I I wouldn't know. I don't follow any of that anymore. You don't know? What about Israel, Palestine? What what is your take? I think that the elites create a problem to get both sides fighting, Mm -hmm. to create a problem. Okay. And they are pulling the strings on both ends. Is Kamala Harris a lizard person? Probably. I can't hear you, Sandrine. Get out of the tunnel. Sorry, I'm on a bridge. Uh, what probably. are you doing on a bridge? Don't you haven't you heard the news, dude? They're collapsing all over the nation. You better be careful. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude. Didn't you hear the news? Like a, a huge, just like shipping container boat it hit. It hit like you know the the this yeah. bo- this huge bridge. I should know the name Baltimore. of it. Baltimore. Baltimore or something. It's in Baltimore, Maryland? I think. Yeah, the Baltimore Bridge. Yeah, yeah. And it's down it's down now. It's like gonna be like I think they got fifty million in aid to try to help them out, but it's gonna be crazy. How do you feel about that? You think it was an inside job? Possibly, yeah. Possibly. Well anyway, how are you doing in Florida? Like what's going on? What other YouTuber would you like to connect you, with? I think you and Danny should move to Miami or Tampa. Look, we 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 would like to live in Florida maybe one day, but the thing is, like, we love we're LA boys. You know, we like having coffee. We like uh, you know seeing some BBLs. We like seeing some some. Well, if I had if if Danny saw me recently yeah. and then he wanted to commit to me, I would move to LA if he really wanted. Well, to stay how you there. okay? Well, my thing is like how you com- how are you competing with the sluts though? Because he's got a lot of sluts in his life right now, like a lot of sluts. Like a too many Did sluts. Did he stop recently, though? Hey, I mean, to be completely honest, no. He had this, like, he had five girls over the other day, and they all had big boobs. And then he just took turns, like, he took, he got in a circle, like, he got in the middle of a circle, right? So it was like a circle of, of girls. And they all, and he motorboated all of them, and he made a, vi- a video for OnlyFans. And he's just, it, it's motorboating Danny. And he just goes around motorboating, like... On the spot, Leo. No, I didn't. He did a motorboat and Danny video. You can see it. It's going to be on a girl's. Uh, I can tell you the girl that he's. Yeah, you can look it up. He fucked some porn stars. He didn't again. fuck any. He didn't bang any of them. He like at least not on camera. But he did motorboat five girls in a row in a circle. What does motorboat mean? I'm kind of old. Time. It's kind of when you go <laughs> on some girls' titties. So ejaculate on their tits? No, not a. You know when you like you're blowing like kind of it's like. You put your face in between two uh-huh. boobs, and then you you move pretend it back and forth, and you pretend you're like a motorboat. It's like it was in Wedding Crashers. Did you see it? 
Yes, I did when I was probably 13 or 14. Remember when he says, Vince Vaughn's like, you motorboating son of a bitch. What'd you do? You motorboat him? You motorboating son uh, of a bitch. That's, maybe very vaguely. It's been a while. That's what it is. So as the channel clairvoyant, though, what do you think, what direction should we take the channel in? What do you think? Sorry, Leo, one more time. As the channel clairvoyant, what do you think is the best tactical kind of, you know, way oh, to take the channel? Danny moves to Tampa or Miami. And he vlogs with you. And he could even, what? Yeah. Okay, would you say that him vlogging with you every day in Tampa would be a good way to go with the channel? If, if, uh, correct, me if I'm, I'm, correct me if I'm wrong. Did you say if we vlogged every day? It'd be good for the channel. Yeah, you and you, Sandrine. Oh, and you know what, Neil? I wrote like seven amazing videos for oh, yeah? us to use in Florida, and they are outstanding. All right, give me the I best one. Them. Pitch it right now. No, Pitch no, me the best video. Instantly. Right now. I can't tell you. It's a solid idea. Come on. And I don't want to be. Really? Because be the last time you pitched ideas, Sandrine, if I'm being honest, in Vegas, all it was was your entrance with some 1980s banger yeah, of a song. Not, this is. Yeah, no, he, I can tell him in person maybe, but like yeah. not, not here. Not um, I'm scared someone's going to steal it, dude. You think like someone might steal the idea if you say it out loud? What was that? Are you afraid someone might steal the idea if you say it out loud? No, and I don't want him to use it and profit off of it, and then I have nothing to do with it, and it's, if he's still going to continue to not talk to me and be scared of my life, then I don't want him to use it. He is scared use, of your love. <laughs> I know he's he is scared. He's not used to being loved like that. Has he told you that you like? Me, huh? he, has he ever told you that like it, it, it it's not going to work out though? He's what? Has he told you it's not going to work out before? He told me the opposite two days before he said that. Oh really? What did he say? He said that the feelings were mutual, and then he said some other things I don't want to talk about. Sandrine, I think it's time. It's time for you to move on. I'm going to be honest with you. As a friend, I've seen the debauchery mm -hmm. that he's been up to, and I don't know if yeah. you're turning back. I'm not sure that you're going to be I'm able to look at him in the eye after you find out what he did. I mean, do you want to know his past? I, 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 you know, I believe that he can cleanse himself and he can heal, and I can give him a hell of a good time, but he's not going to probably have sex with me for a while. Like, I want commitment before he can even have me in my fully naked state are you still a virgin nah, that's irrelevant oh my god sandrine you <laughs> lost your virginity no to who no i didn't was it a or big youtuber I? huh was it danny duncan he's in florida no, no i don't like danny that way do you not, not like danny, danny duncan that way why? If Danny Duncan slid into your DMs, you're telling me you wouldn't go hang out with him in his no, compound? No, it's not about it's about energy, and I'm so compatible with Danny. Like, I should just make this all about Danny now. I think because he's gonna listen to this podcast. He's gonna listen to it. I so, mean, what would you? What you, do you want to you, say to him? Why don't you pretend I that I'm him? him this morning, and he, I'm sure he likes the text. Sandrine, how sentence. about this? How about me and what? you have spiritual phone sex right now? But I'll be I'll be Danny I'll be Danny yeah. and you be Sandrine and and then you could you you could kind of you can kind of share how you feel about Danny and in in the spiritual. No. I'm you, not a simp. I'm not a backhooker doorknob. I can't even talk it's right just now. Backhooker doorknob. <laughs> okay, well you have you have I'm gonna give you thirty a seconds to, to give Danny a message right what? now. I'm gonna give you thirty seconds to give Danny a message right now. I want you to tell him how you I feel. I don't need to. I just texted him like a couple hours ago, like seven hours ago. He's not he gonna look at it. We all know he's not gonna look at that message. No, I got his personal number. He'll see it. Okay, he might see it, but he you know he's not gonna respond. So you might as well Doesn't if you res matter. if you force him force his hand and put out put it out in public. What do you want? No, I mean, I just I I, I just mm. What is it about Danny that you love so much? The energy, like I'm so compatible. Like I was daydreaming about us this morning, just oh. walking down a hall of a hotel, um, yeah. like in the lobby area in a long hall, and just like holding his arm and putting my head against his arm, just being so happy to be in his presence, just to be. Because I feel very love him. And he's just so. There's just it's like yes, he's the one. He I wanted. It's just so. It was so. <laughs> I was like, I was resting my head against his arm as we were walking. And this is very romantic, so... but <laughs> you're not giving me any of the juicy details. One second. 
security. One second. Where's so, she going? Yeah, where are you going uh, right now? Are you going to another uh, YouTuber's house? I'm not disclosing my location. Are you going to Danny Duncan's house right now? <laughs> you are so funny. He is a fiend if I've ever seen one, so he's going to give you, he'll, he'll rock your world. It'll be a good first time. No, thank you. Danny is the most gorgeous man on the planet right now. You think Danny is the most, he's the... more, do you think Danny's more attractive than me? Um, so that's a tricky question because Thank you. you guys are both very different yes we are um uh i actually don't want to talk about you in a uh in a in, in, in as far as complimenting your looks because you do have a girlfriend leo and do I really you believe her. that i'm attractive of course i told you that but yeah one of the most attractive men you. in the world <laughs> yeah i'd say you're in the top 20 I, I do believe that I'm in the top 20 most handsome men in the world. I Want to hear my top five? Sure, let's hear your top five. This is like high fidelity top five. <laughs> What's up, guys? Wanted to take a break from the pod for a second to tell you about Ladder. Now, everybody knows that like getting life insurance is like a really good idea to protect like the people that you love and uh, you know make sure that if the unthinkable happens, they're well taken care of. Okay, it's something that altruistic that we should all do. Now, Ladder is 100% digital. No doctors, no needles, no paperwork. When you apply for $3 million in coverage or less, just answer a few questions and your health in an application about your health. That's it. It's so easy, guys. They make it really easy. I love the 100% digital. I don't want to deal with a doctor. Um, that's my kind of like that's my kind of gig. You know what I'm saying? Also, Ladder customers rate them 4.8 out of 5 stars on Trustpilot, which is really legit. Um, that's like a great, great, great sign. And also, guys, no hidden fees. You can cancel anytime, get a full refund if you change your mind in the first 30 days. All right. Now, also, Forbes, it made they made Forbes best life insurance 2021 list, which is really important too. So listen, guys, go to ladderlife.com slash LDS today to see if you're instantly approved. That's L-A-D-D-E-R life.com slash LDS, ladderlife.com slash LDS. Go check it out, guys. <laughs> top five records, top five songs. Okay, so my top five, and maybe not in particular order. Sure. So Danny, number one. Okay. But let's put Danny, number one. Number two, Don Johnson. Okay. Number three, Kevin Costner. Okay. Hell yeah, um, dude. Sit down. We got a random ass right fan now. coming in. It's going to be oh, dope. Really? Yeah, we got a random fan going to sit in the couch. That's how we do it. You know, we try to get them. <laughs> Tell her to keep going. Anyway, um, so, no, Close. keep going with your top five. Rob Lowe. Uh, Rob from Lowe. The 90s. Oh, wow. Yeah. Rob Lowe. Uh, Pierce Brosnan from the 90s. That, yeah. Be, I think that, yeah. you and McGregor was pretty cute, too, in the, in the 2000s, early 2000s. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah he was pretty hot. Um, I think that. That might have, I think that's, oh, I like Alan Rickman and Jeremy Irons. Too. Alan Rickman and Jeremy Irons. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Not bad, Sandrine. Well, listen, we got a fan here, so we're going to, like, we're going to try to pot it up and talk to the fan. We'll, we'll call, uh, you know, that drug addict later because you didn't tell me, you didn't give me the clairvoyant uh, answer, but it's okay. Listen, um, look, I wish you well. I think you should move on Thank from you. Danny, though, but um, you will see him again, I'm sure. He's coming to Florida at some point, oh, so you'll yeah. see him. Well, yeah, well, uh, it's not over. Well, You're gonna have like, another chance. Oh, we're gonna, we're gonna. I'm not concerned at all. Actually, I kind of just let go of everything. But I obviously I love the guy. But yeah. I'm yeah, just yeah. gonna let him do his journey. I'll yeah, do yeah. mine, and yeah, yeah. I'm sure we'll be brought together again. Yeah. No. Absolutely. Well, Sandrine, you have a great day. Okay. Thank you for calling in the pod. Thank we you, appreciate yeah. you. Thank you. Thank all you. Right. Have fun. Thank you, sweetheart. Bye bye. What's up, my man? Cool. What's up, Leo? Hi, Dan. Um. What's up, bro? I think I think I recognize you, and this is going to be an unbelievable um, random guest to come to the pod because he is part of a very very um, crazy day that Danny experienced at the Ha Ha Comedy Club. Oh, you were the one that got the picture of Danny's oh, him, penis huh? peeing, correct? I was there too. I, I had it in my phone. Yeah, in the in the ready to send everything. <laughs> Right on Instagram, yup. He looks dude, you were No way, dude. I had no idea. Honestly, when yeah. I invited him on the podcast, all of the emojis you use are black. So I, I thought I found a black guy. He basically uh, is black. <laughs> what are you, Latino? I mean, are you gonna are you like um 
what's the word? We were trying to the, the diver, well, we were trying to you were a diversity hire, mm -hmm. but now you're still a diversity hire. You're a Latino, right? Yeah, yeah. Oh, well, good. it was just a mystery. Uh, well, identifies guess. black though. Your Instagram doesn't yeah. have any pictures. <laughs> he and, identifies as black though. And then the way you were talking, I was like, I feel like this guy's black. But we just thought it'd be funny to bring on a guy that. We, it was a complete mystery. Yeah, and then at this uh, point, now we know that it's the guy who took a <laughs> picture, a video of Danny's cock, Wait. limp, and was going to go on Instagram, but then it was, of course, stopped, and then we... Uh, it, it you was, recognize it, him? It was all, uh, I recognize him, yeah, yeah. yeah. Do you remember him or not? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Now, make, yeah. Make sure you're close to the mic when you talk. Oh, yeah, yeah. like that, yeah. It, yeah. it was all an act, though. I was just a paid actor, remember? It was just... <laughs> you probably don't remember the script, but yeah. <laughs> that was good, that was good. You, um, yeah, why did you do that? Why did you do that? You were, were drunk, You, you right? were fucked up, Yeah, right? I was super drunk. I, uh, I would say, like, two bottles of soju. Mm -hmm. um, seeing, you know, just being, like, in shock. Sure. And, like, uh, I don't know. I was just like, oh, my God. I was taking a piss. And I was like, wait, is, I heard its voice right next to me. I was like, wait, is that Daniel James Bryan Mullen? <laughs> That's right, dude. <laughs> that and your, I was like, holy shit. You're like, what What else should I do besides take a picture of his cock <laughs> at, at that to point. post on the internet? Yeah. Um, that was your first hindsight time. Hindsight. Yeah, go ahead. No, I was going to say, that was your first time meeting Danny, right? Yeah, was, that's my first time going to any of you guys' show and shit. Yeah, so that was go. pretty cool. <laughs> that's why. That's why. You ended up being cool with them and shit, and you guys took a picture and all that. But like, there was, uh, we needed to get like a, a guy from uh, a, an expert on. It was your phone, your like an Android, to come out from the crowd and look through your picture, and then we saw. We ended up seeing a lot of your your cock out there. Uh, yeah, yeah. Might have might have been my cock, mm -hmm. or or not. I'm not going to disclose anything. Sure. but there was definitely some cock in there. What are you up to, man? What do you do in the world? Yeah, shit. I'm just. I just honestly, I don't really do much. I just play a bunch of video games, smoke weed, watch Danny Mullen on uh, on go. Mondays now. Hell yeah. Let's go. Now, Hell yeah. Let's go. Hell yeah. You stream your gaming or no? Uh, I do, I do sometimes. How do you oh, make money? You have a channel, Leo. We all know how you make money. Yeah, sugar I mean, mamas. I, I got a sugar mama Come for on. sure. It, she's actually, she's been a real asshole recently, and she says she's broke. So I think she just, uh, I'm not giving up the D, and I think she's a little upset. But my sugar mama has been dwindled down, changed her credit card, so I can't use the Postmates I anymore. I don't know how to cook <laughs> for myself. I've been using the air fryer. I'm just kidding. Um, you got to send Kelvin in as some young dick, dude. Dude, I need to send you in, I think. I think she's going for... She wants that teen dick, dude. You, you don't even need her. You got the HelloFresh sponsorship. Remember? From <laughs> yeah, the HelloFresh... Yeah. Honestly, <laughs> I couldn't believe how cheap HelloFresh was. To be completely honest, I wasn't even... <laughs> when I would... Uh, with our 50% off, that was an, an insane ad. deal. We don't have them anymore. I don't think they're sponsoring anymore, but like... Oh. Dude, HelloFresh was killing it for the boys, dude. If you, if you, got, a, if you got some HelloFresh packages... You know, especially if you live in L.A., you know, the yeah. grocery stores are hella pricey. So. So if um, so, how often would you um, do you think about uh, the cock pic that you took at Danny's? Like, uh, did you take a good look at it or you don't even remember? Um, honestly, I, I remember seeing it. And um, you know what? Yeah, it's it was you know what? It was actually really, 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 really. Don't no say that. It, he was peeing, dude. You know what <laughs> I mean? You can't. <laughs> I'm sorry. Talk shit about our boys' penis <laughs> right now, but uh, I still. Okay, so wait. How do you make money in the world besides you don't have a sugar mama? I don't think so. Unless there's somebody really into your look, which is possible. It's it's very possible. It's all there. about becoming a fantasy. So you could be like, yeah. You are sort of. You could be like some kind of fantasy <laughs> for some some broad out there. He's a type. You are a type. <laughs> No, um, she likes fucking like I don't know Latino leprechauns. That are, <laughs> you look emo like a Latino land. Gnome. You look like an emo land gnome that would be <laughs> like you could put like in front, like you know what I mean, like right in front of someone's house. That same little look. Oh, only for like Halloween though. Right? How tall are you for real? Um, when I stretch on a good day, like five seven. All right. Okay. Yeah. It's not bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Almost, oh, almost average. Probably, probably like Swolby's height, then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, Swolby's a little shorter, shorter now. maybe. Right? He doesn't want us talking about oh, that anymore. Shit, so. He's of he's a man of uh, of regular size. You know what I mean? He's no Danny DeVito. Danny DeVito is where you can talk shit about someone's height because he's borderline. A, you know, he's borderline a little person. Let's let's just say, let's just say short giga, but my dick tall. Oh, <laughs> yeah. yep. How's uh, so for King. real? Okay, let's say. Do you have? Do you pay rent, or do you live with your parents? Uh, I do live with my parents. Yes. Hell yeah, dude! You got both of them together? Uh, no, not at the same household, but they're alive though. All right, cool. That's dope. You live with your mom or dad? The mother. Of course, dude. Your dad needs to beat your ass like, a couple more times. <laughs> no, how, old, no. how old are you, dude? How old do I look, Leo? You look young, man. I would say like twenty five. Uh, yeah, I think so. Too. I'll go at twenty five then. You're, you're older. I'd be older. All right. So do you help around the house at least, dude? What do you? Dude. Where? Where do you live in town? I'm curious. Um. 
general. Be vague. Yeah, yeah. 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 Without doxing too much, literally like down the street. They okay. like be like thirty minutes down the street. Okay, cool. So that yeah. could be walking like, or driving. Um, like driving. Oh wow. Okay, right, so it could be fun. anywhere. Yeah. It could be anywhere in LA. Thirty minutes from this. This is the most centralized location <laughs> yeah. of all time. It's like you can get everywhere in thirty minutes. Yeah, you could be at the yeah. beach. You could be really deep in downtown. You could be in the valley, dude. Who knows where you are? Long that's beach. okay. Yeah, Long Beach. Yeah, um, that's cool. But so, why don't you have a job? Um, honestly, I had one job my entire life. It what, was it was, was um, it? I was working at a dog hotel. You know, just like oh wow, yeah, it was cool. You know, I really didn't have to deal with humans. It's pretty much just like. Chill and shit. Play you, with the dog's ball sometimes and shit when you get bored. And they'd shit. love you. At, like, What's a little rat dick, Ralph? You no, no me? rat dick, <laughs> Ralph. <laughs> shit, dude. No. They'd love to hire you at like a Journey's Kids or like a Spencer's <laughs> in the mall. <laughs> what? He's saying because you look like a child, you'd be perfect. It almost <laughs> like you would sell more merch because you'd be wearing it and they'd be like, "Oh, dude, I just, I, I need that shirt." I, I, I could just be like a little gear. mannequin outside too. I don't have to say anything. Just yeah, like you're a little mannequin. Them. Did you, did I you feel get, like you could do a lot of stuff. Like you could be like a plumber's apprentice. Like when they need to climb under the house and shit. Like you're the guy. Be like, I got it. Oh, probably like, yeah. Just like little, like little dude. Yeah. Or yeah, little dude. We'll just put you in the attic, dog. You know what I mean? You could just throw you up there, climb in like a raccoon. You'd be great as like a diversity hire, like elf for around Christmas oh my time. God, dude. <laughs> Honestly, they're not gonna put you up in front because they don't want to scare the like the white moms and shit. But they'll put you like in the back, putting the packages into Santa's like fucking sled and shit. You know, <laughs> little putting acting. all the packages. Yeah. Oh, yeah. No, but that's dope, man. Well, thanks for you know uh, watching the channel and shit. What's your favorite video of all time? Okay, so you you might think I'm like cocksuck in here, but mm -hmm. for real, like a video that I watch a lot, bro, was definitely the one where you uh, get drunk and you go back to Universal Studios. Oh, that's oh, a classic, that though. Great. Thanks, yeah, bro. That's yeah. a that's a that's a funny ass video, man. Yeah, it's always funny. Always and um, a good podcast that I like to uh, you know just go to sleep to sometimes is mm -hmm. the one we guys had at Asian Andy on. Hell yeah, oh, dude! Yeah. A lot of people like that podcast too. Yeah, we were trying to get him on forever, but he's he's not he's been avoiding us for some reason. But. Well, no, he said he would be down. He's just out of town. Yeah, yeah, we'll get yeah. We'll Asian Andy back on. He's hilarious. He is a really good pod uh, guest. That's hilarious. Well, listen, we need you need to get a job, dude. Yeah. You need to help your mom out. Were you making um, Were you making good money at the dog place? It, it was it was decent. It was decent. But I mean, like, uh, I'm I'm pretty much free. You know, if you guys need like a a rat guys, Ralph. Maybe not a raptic Ralph, because you know that's kind of kind of crazy. You could look, you could be like more of a mouse cock Miguel though. Mouse cock Miguel sounds kind of fire, Loki. Mm -hmm. Honestly, mm -hmm. if we just started, like if you just came in and we said you were mouse cock Miguel, most people probably <laughs> would have just yeah. thought you actually were. Yeah, yeah. We're, I think I think we might say that you're the it's new mouse cock ego. Miguel. So what kind of drugs are you on? Uh, I drank a little bit. I drank like three shots of soju, and I was about to smoke a blunt before I came here. Nice. But I'm still. chilling. I don't really do nothing like that. All right, cool. I jack off a lot, though. That's my Jerk off a lot? Yeah. You know, I was about, about, about two, three times a day, like how you said last yeah, time. Yeah, I mean, sometimes people do. I think that's a, a okay amount. You know what I mean? I think it does end up like, get, I don't know. I don't know that it helps you too much with the ladies. I mean, how you doing with the ladies? I've had over 200 sex, 150 blowjobs. <laughs> To over 200 real? sex? Over 200 Why sex? did we say it like that? That was a very strange way to say it. But I love it. I kind of love it. I have over 200 oh. sex, 150 oh. blowjobs. That's not bad, kid. Yeah, 50 sex. So you just get in there. Latinas and shit? What kind of girls are you taking down mostly? Um, I feel like your Eskimo brothers with Saltine for sure. Somehow. Yeah. Man. Yeah, that girl that banged Saltine would bang him too. You hey, like, do you I go to raves? Uh, no, not really. Where do you pick up chicks? Online, bro. You know, those, those so old you fashioned way. Right. Instagram, Instagram yeah, DMs, bro. Instagram DMs. So what are your Instagram way. is the creepiest thing I've ever seen. You can't, you don't have any pictures up. How the hell could you? <laughs> it's kind of hard, but you, you can just send memes, bro. Honestly, these days. Memes. Okay. DMs. So you're funny as fuck with the memes and the DMs. I try. <laughs> That's hilarious, honestly. If, you, if you're a good meme sender, do you, can you get pussy? Do they ever ask you like, what do you look like though? Oh uh, yeah, say that? and yeah. what do you say? You just send pics. What do you mean? Oh okay, okay. <laughs> you send pics. Do they believe it's you? Because sometimes you know. Uh, I mean, you sound like you can like Facetime them. If oh, I, you know. I feel like you got an STD at some point. In the, I, in the most box. definitely, most definitely. I've I've gone a couple bit. I um, mean, you know, you Which take ones? that pill. So uh, chlamydia and gonorrhea. Then, yeah, if you take probably. a pill, that's good. So you've only only you've left almost unscathed. No herpes. No, no. Um, I mean, if I have any, I don't think they've popped out yet. So I'm I'm gonna say I don't have any. Nah, hell yeah. No yeah. flare-up, no, no herps. Be yeah. careful, dude. What are your standards looking like? Like, yeah. you just fucking anything that moves? Yeah, which Man, you should. I, I used to just fuck anything that moves. That's how I got over 200 sex. But mm -hmm. um, 
No. 200 is a lot, bro. I don't know if I believe that. Then you might be older than 25. It's Are insane. you like 30, dog? Because you're Latino, bro. I can't, you can't tell. You could be 40, dog. You could have like two kids and shit. I don't even, you don't even yeah. know about, dog. No, I'm not, I'm not 30, but I'm definitely like uh, upper tw- 20s. Yeah, upper 20s. But um, I'll say, uh, what was the question? No, how, like, what are you banging? Like yeah. three, like, what's your lowest number that you go for? Man. Looks wise. I, I recently just started like going for, um, like recently just started going for only like Asian chicks. Mm. I, I haven't nice. fucked Asian chick, bro. So I've been trying to fuck, but uh, no cigar. They're yeah, like no cigar. playing on like expert mode in Guitar Hero. Literally, bro. But he's saying like scale to one to ten, what kind of girls do you aim for? Like fives and up, or six and up, or oh man, I mean like, dude, dude, come on, everybody needs some loving sometimes, bro. You can't, you know, like think about think about you being a ten, or think about. You, when you were that one, bro, and yeah, that yeah. 10 gave you a chance. Yeah, 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 And then you tell all your homies, oh, yeah, bro, that, bam, dude, that pussy was so bomb. So he's doing some charity work. Well, at yeah. 25, though, I mean, you're younger than me, but, like, at 25, I mean, even, like, I, dude, I was banging, like, I would go for some fours sometimes. You have to sometimes. Got to be real. Yeah. Yeah. And it's fun, you know what I mean? And, like, it's still a good time. It's, you it's, know, it's, it's easy. They're, they're almost the sluttiest, too, so. They're, they're like, slutty. You can, it's, like, you can't like practice a weird new move with like a rando chick where you're nervous when you're 25 like older when you get older you don't give a fuck so you're like you know even that hot 20 year old you're gonna like you know you're gonna eat her ass within 30 minutes of meeting her or something you know i, I mean? recently but, just got my ass ate too i don't know if i like Jesus, it though who ate your ass bro can i see the girl's picture bro? i need to see this girl we won't show i, I will i will definitely show just show sh- me no I, I, no but it's funny because uh i think you might know her leo Damn. i know her let me sh- show hilarious. me this. Show me this shit. Uh, What's up, guys? Wanted to take a break from the pod uh, to tell you why one of the better deals in town, Raycon earbuds. Now, guys, they offer amazing quality audio at half the price of the other premium audio brands. Now, how premium are they, dude? Guys, I've been using them for two months now, and I haven't charged them once, and they are still going. It's just now. It's just a test. Now I'm just like figure. Like I want to. I want to see how far I can take it. They're. Compatible to Siri, which I also like when I'm on a run. Hey, Siri, next song. You know, all that kind of stuff. You can also do noise isolation mode, awareness mode. Uh, They have the tap functions on the earbuds that really make it easy to use. Guys, if you're looking for earbuds and you want a high-quality pair at a really, really good, affordable price, and you want, like, the battery of a goddamn, I don't know, dude, the Energizer Bunny, Okay, get Raycon. Go to buyraycon.com slash LDS today to get 20% off your Raycon order. It's already pretty cheap. Plus free shipping. That's right. You'll get 20% off and free shipping at buyraycon.com slash LDS. Buyraycon.com slash LDS. I will show you, but I can't show you on camera, though. No, right, we no, no, no. We're not going to show camera. anybody. Just show pull it up. Phone phone yeah, 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 pull it up on your phone, dude. Indeed. And you keeps, a, how would you know? You yeah. got your ass eaten by a girl I know. This is crazy. <laughs> I hope it's in the good moon. If it's in the good moon, that'd be the that'd best be thing ever, that'd be bro. Amazing. But, but I feel like if I, if I show you, you're just going to look. Mike, Mike, I'm not going to say anything. Yeah. I won't say anything. I don't like doxing chicks. That's how girls get pissed. So, yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? Like, we're not about getting a Me Too going unless it's traffic, and then we can Me Too uh, him. You found it? Yeah. No, no I'm, definitely, I'm definitely scared of like. You found it? I'm not going to say anything. No. Did you find it? I'm not going to say anything. All right. Well, oh, okay, he's looking for it. Just show it. You're sure to me, and I just I can't. I'm just going to like wrap my head around a girl eating your ass. Also, he, he keeps saying, "Is he saying sex or sets?" Sex. Not sex, sex. Uh, Two hundred. Well, sex. this chick doesn't even have uh, photos either. Mm-hmm. But um, I can probably like try to FaceTime her or something. No, nah, don't oh, FaceTime no, 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 her. Just no, no. let me see her Instagram. Let's see if I know. She, her. she doesn't have no uh, no photos on her thing. But um, but he might. I might just know who up, she is from like. Have I met her at a show? Yeah. Okay, so she came to a show. Just zero. What is it? <laughs> oh, of course, dude. <laughs> Do you know her? Dude, I don't know this chick at all. I don't think I know this chick. No, you have to be. But the she mic. came to a mic. show with you. Wait, did she come to the show that night with you? Oh, she wasn't bad, Doug. Oh, sorry about that. But nobody'll know. Nobody'll know. We'll cut, we can cut that part. Dude, that girl ate your ass. Uh, Ash was crazy, bro. And, and, and like, cause this chick that I was dating for like five years, tired. Bro, you guys have no excuse, dude. If any of you all are getting no pussy, well, first <laughs> of all, being in Los Angeles yeah. does help. Like, even you could be, I'm not sure how he'd be doing in Ohio right. or Oklahoma or Alabama somewhere. I'd be doing pretty good. You've been there, maybe because no. you're. I don't know. Maybe if you got this confidence, man. I mean, you're getting your 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 shit out there. You got a lot of reps. You hit up a lot of girls on Instagram. It's a numbers game. It is a numbers it's game. It's a full time job for him. 
Yeah, honestly, because yeah. I don't got shit to do. I'm just smoking weed, fucking horny as fuck, just like boom, 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 sending memes all day. <laughs> oh, my God. Got to sound like rat dick it away, dude. That's kind of what he does. He jerks off, but he just does it on camera. You know what I mean? For- do, you, do you want to get a job soon or what, what are you trying to do or what? A job would be cool, but um, at the same time. You could work for me and Danny. We could shoot you out of cannons and shit. You could be like our what we would do with a little person if it was like 20 years ago. But instead, you could be like the, the guy that we stunts. do it with. Yeah, just all stunts. No, honestly, yeah, sure. I'll be, I'll be, I'll just be like the little uh, stunt double thing. <laughs> Hell yeah, body dude. Thing. Body just double, me, yeah. <laughs> dude, we could do some jackass stuff with him. <coughs> I'll be like the little rag doll, just. <laughs> you're man, down? that's tight. That wouldn't be bad, but we need to like your poor mom, dude. Can you call her up right now so we can talk to her? No can, way, I, can I talk to her no on the pod? Way, no, way. that's great. I'm gonna tell her that she needs to like slap you. Dude. She's working all day, probably. Right? She working? Uh, yeah, she's twerking. She's, she's wait, twerking. she works. She's a no, I'm just playing, bro. Just, I just, yeah, I see it. Is your mom a stripper? <laughs> no, she's not a stripper. She might be on there. Yeah, she's a stripper. She could be a stripper. Yeah. What does she do actually? She's a stripper. You're a liar. No, nah, yeah, no, nah. deja vu. She works at deja vu. There's no way. Yeah. She, she, I mean, when she was ten, bro. That means she's Jesus Christ, like... you can't get pregnant <laughs> at ten, dude. Yeah, you, unless you're Latina. You, I guess you, a Latina yeah. could get you, pregnant you, at you ten, man. That's fucked up. Are you second generation Hispanic or does your mom, was she born here? Or? Um, uh, she was born in Africa and then had me here. Interesting. Yeah. So you're like, you, are you like. What country in Africa? Yeah. Zimbabwe. Okay. And your dad? <laughs> My what, dad? Yeah. Where is he from? The Congo. Really? You're a liar. Yeah, there's no way. Yeah. Why are you lying like this? No, dude? I'm not, but I got adopted though. Are you sure? Yeah. So you're adopted by, you're adopted by a black family. Yeah. So they don't speak Spanish. No. Nah. So you don't. I don't even Spanish. speak Spanish. You don't speak Spanish? <laughs> no, not at all. Man. Every time you say the word butt, though, it sounds like pero. Pero, yeah. Did you notice that? But? Yeah. 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 The way you talk, sometimes you say what Austin said. The okay. way you, yeah, it seems like it could be. Could be so, lying, Leo. Yeah, he could be. I think I'm he's lying, lying obviously, no but it's all good, dude. If you don't want to get I think he's. I bet the dick pic of Danny is still on his phone. If you, we looked nah, through it know. really well. I doubt it. Air One Poppy, shout out Air One Poppy. Air One Poppy, yeah, sure. shout out. He, he looked through the phone and made sure it was, uh, you know, clean. For show, yeah, well, that was um, that was interesting. That I was once again, I was um, really, really intoxicated. But then again, you guys also came up to me with the script. You guys like, hey man, um, our shows, our oh sh- yeah, uh, you're, you're like our shows, kind of like didn't sell out too good mm-hmm. uh, last oh, night. Yeah. We need we need a big blowout. We need guys? a big blowout. Yep. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. So, no, it was it was Danny. It was a hysterical on stage. That's for sure. It would have. I could see people thinking it was scripted. Though. Like, is this real? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. A lot of people were asking me like, is this real? I'd be like, no, it is. Some, some guy just took a picture of his dick. And was going to put it on his story, which would have been bad for you because your Instagram would have been gone yeah. immediately. But I guess you could just make another one. And then. Um, no, yeah. Honestly, I didn't think uh, it was that big of a deal. But then I saw how much he kept talking about it like on other podcasts or like... Um Okay. Well, it's a little alarming that yeah. just yeah. like you're you're in a urinal at a comedy club and some guy just takes a picture of your dick. But that's but that's like and refuses like the, to st- like delete it and he's drunk. Yeah, yeah. But that was like the least of like the the craziest thing that he's probably encountered that yeah, day yeah. or that I day would say so. he's yeah he's encountered some crazy stuff for sure. You're right, but it's still a little crazy that that happened, dude. I can't believe you stumbled upon the pod somehow on a day where we needed some some action because we had a. <laughs> Shoot a last minute pod and you know what I mean? Like, thank you for coming on, dog. You uh, know what I mean? Dude, dude, I was telling Austin it's a weird ass divine intervention because like uh, it's my birthday tomorrow. So it's wow. like Aww. it's always been a dream to be Happy on the early like, birthday. Do you hey appreciate man, you well, that means a lot, bro. Happy birthday, dog. What do you can you tell me your actual age now? Is it thirty? No, I'm twenty eight. You're gonna be well, I'm about, 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 about to be twenty eight. Yeah. Right, so about to be twenty eight. Oh, okay. So you're taking your time, figuring yeah. things out. Oh, dude, what do you mean? Stop. You are a class A right now. You are mooching, bro. Off your mom. We need <laughs> save to save up money, dude. Save it up. Uh, I mean, like, that's pretty much what I'm doing, you know. Don't just waste trying, it. Trying to like, you know. Well, I'm I'm doing good. You know, I don't really got paid for like too many bills, so I'm just trying to like save that shit up. All right. Yeah, what is your net worth right now? <laughs> about four twenty sixty nine. That is what is that four twenty sixty nine? Over it's a, it's for sure over two hundred sex. That's okay. <laughs> that is your net worth. I mean, if you had sex with two hundred chicks, I mean, I give it up for you. And getting your ass ape of that girl that you brought, not bad, dude. Is she probably watching this, huh? Oh, uh, uh, yeah, she's probably gonna watch this. Well, you know, he outed you for what you did, and I commend it. I think that that's awesome. I can't believe that you did it, and I um, I'm shocked. But there's a guy that I know who needs you to do that for him. And if you did it for this guy, why not do it for our boy Fez? Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? We got to get Fez going in the right direction, even see if he can get an erection. You know what I mean? Do you think she'll do it for him? 
Man, you know what? Be honest. Fez is a, Fez is a is a. I, I think he definitely can pull up some Riz on really? this chick. Oh, wow. Dude, oh, yeah. this could be the one, dude. I mean, this is the kind of girl we need. I mean, I tried when the girl that came over and like fucked Saltine and then was down to blow everyone in this house. She, I was try. I told her that Fez is a famous like Pokemon like guy or whatever, and it didn't work, dude. It didn't work. <laughs> uh, so I mean, we could try again with this chick, dude. I mean, um, why wouldn't that, that work? I mean, like, uh, uh, doesn't every girl want a like famous Pokemon guy? <laughs> yeah, but he didn't have the Instagram <laughs> followers to back up that claim, and he also just you know he can barely speak. That's his. That's really his problem, especially when he gets drunk. But we just need to get him into shape and like you know yeah. that'll help. Yeah. yeah. Now I did yeah. promise the fans I'm, I'm I'm gonna I was gonna call this this mother effer. Yeah. Um, you know, rat dick. So we might as well. I mean, you're down, right? I mean, are you a rat dick fan? I'm just a fan of the channel, you know? You're a good man, dude. Thank you. Some people like guys that put Tabasco bottles up their ass, you know what I mean? And and then, uh, you know, or drink. Or he put a bottle of... He recently a put a bottle of hot sauce and they did the ass dragon. Yeah, that was crazy, dude. That was insane. Okay, well, I'm, I'm, he might not answer. I'm, I'm going to text him right now, too. Try Instagram. I'm sorry. I actually had a crazy ass stream the other day. It was weird, I think, because I just saw the podcast. But it was, uh, it was um, apparently... Rat Pussy Pam had overdosed. Oh and, man! And Rat Dick Ralph was going crazy. Reversed. Was, wow. Yeah, it was, yeah it, was, it was a weird dream. I, was like, I mean, that's fuck? a good theory, dude. We often think that that there's no way that that uh, RPP can just survive with RDR without doing some kind of heavy drug. You know what I mean? Like, there's yeah. no way, dude. RDR though, he's like kind of he's appearing in the unconscious mind of sleeping individuals. It's not good. <laughs> he's yeah. made it, bro. It's insane. He's appearing I mean, in people's <laughs> dreams. I mean, I know for a fact Very that for he sure. probably gets recognized, and then fans think that it's an act, and then they quickly smell his feet, and they go, oh, <laughs> that's real. Like, so many people have told me that. Like, dude, like, like uh, NBA Mike is like, dude, my car is just like, I feel like I, I get it disinfected. Dude, so I, I give felt him a ride. so bad for NBA Mike that he gave Rad Dick a ride home after the feet smelling episode, guys. Mm. That happened. If he like let him in the car and took him all the way home, that's crazy. Just let him shower here, guys. You don't understand. He took his shoes off up here. He took his shoes off up here, and he leveled the room. It was like one of the worst smells, like way worse than shit. It was just like some horrendous smell that was like it was worse than if someone just shit in the room on the floor. It was worse. Yeah, like somebody could have taken his shit right there, and it would have been half as bad as this motherfucker's foot, dude. I would have just Lysoled his feet real quick. Da, 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 give a new pair of sho- socks. Yeah, at that point, for maybe. Him. Yeah. Calvin, how what's it been like for you as the new camera guy? How do you feel about what Nico used to do? You you've been talking to Nico about technical stuff. T- tell us yeah. about that. You, you guys need to make like a little dick joke or something about Calvin too, because I missed yeah. a I missed a little dick. Nico Danny, just, he's got a Danny decent did. cock on him. So Danny did make, or no, you did. I did. Yeah, I said. I, I told the Guinness book. Yeah, I, I did it one time just to see how it feels. You yeah. know what I mean? It's kind of like one of those things you want to just like see how it feels. Yeah, you know? yeah. I, I mean, I've been talking to Nico here and there. I had to Facetime him the other day to help. He, I was asking him some questions about like some technical stuff. Like sure. you're saying. I mean, I it feels like uh, I have to carry on the torch, so to speak. Mm-hmm. I, I I used to talk to Nico all the time before when I was filming with you mm-hmm. and your channel before it got deleted and whatnot, and then. Mm-hmm. I, help you record like some comedy stuff, different shows and whatnot, even Danny too. I remember Nico came one time to one of those shows and I was like, what's up, Nico? And he's like, what's up, Kelvin? We talked. And then after a while, he like randomly said like, dude, I, I always tell Danny, man, like if something ever happens to me, dude, like you're the guy. And I'm like, oh. wait, wait, you gotta be, oh, I, I always tell you, man. I always <laughs> tell you, man. Dude. If I mean, uh, something ever happens to me. Uh. <laughs> I wanted sure, him for sure, this sure. pod, dude. I wanted him to come in and like talk about why he left, but you know, He's basically always going to give us just the answer. It's like, hey, it's just time to make a change. Like he gives us all those like, like, like if you if you have like publicity training with like a, if like you're an athlete and you have publicity training and they're always like trying to get you to say something. But you're always just like, oh, you know, I'll give it 110 percent. You know, I'm a team guy. You know what I mean? Like it's he's like he's like so I don't know. He's so white about it. I, I, th- really I think Joe just off. didn't really. Uh, I think that's what it yeah, is. She, yeah. she was like, you know what? Tyrone's fucking me up, <laughs> making way more money doing this job. If you can't keep Dante. up with him, then or Dante, it there might, we go. It might be Same something. Thing. <laughs> it could be something with his girlfriend, which I don't blame him. I guess like he he at some point maybe got in trouble with her because he drank. He was drinking a lot. But either way, I miss Nico. I'll say it. I love Kelvin too, He's though. He, he has good vibes on the road. But oh, what do thanks. you? Thank you. Bro. As a fan, you know what I mean. What is it like just seeing how the magic happens behind the 
the Honestly, Essenes. Honestly, I feel like, how do I put this into words? I feel like, you know how Danny has his like Patreon tiers? Yeah. I feel like I'm on, I'm on the highest tier because like I have access to everything. Like it's crazy. Like you have the edit, you can see all the raw footage. Like it's like the ultimate fan experience, so sure. to speak. And it's cool. Um, it's stressful in a way, but it's, it's, uh, I know what I signed up for and you know, I'm ready to keep going. And what's Danny as a, like, like as a boss? <laughs> it's, it's interesting because Danny off camera, he's, he's really cool and everything. And even as a, like a boss, so to speak now that he's my boss, technically he's very like business oriented. So he, sure. he's, he's very organized. I have nothing but good things to say about him. He's a fair boss and, uh, he just makes you be your, the best version of yourself really. So yeah. it's like, I'm always on my toes. Like. I'm only getting better, mm -hmm. so I commend Danny for that, and, and you guys too, you know. So sure, yeah. he is. He's he's a firm but fair boss. Yeah. Would you say? Yeah, I'd say so. And how uh, do you do? You see yourself kind of doing this for a while? For a while, yeah. yeah. As long as I can, you know. I mean, unless sure. Danny one day says like, "Oh, Nico's back," I'll gladly step down. You know, mm -hmm. whatever. You're at, but we'll see if that happens. There's no animosity there. No if animosity. He takes your job. No, no, right. no. No, like I said, he was telling me like. Yeah, man, if uh, anything ever happens to me, I told Danny that you're the guy that I want or whatever to help us now or something. I was like, oh, it me, caught me off guard. I was like, dude, no, I don't like that's all you, dude. I don't want to take your spot or anything. And he's like, no, dude, I'm serious. And I was like, all right. And then we just kept like recording stuff for that day. Yeah. And I didn't think about it until like months later when Danny was like, dude, can you help me out? Or, mm -hmm. And then I was like, oh, yeah. And then I went on some shoots and then I found out that he sure. quit. So I was like, damn. Yeah. I don't know. And he'll be back maybe one day, or at least for the channel. He's got to do like an Edward Forty Hands, me, Nico, and Danny. That'd be sick. That'd be great. Dude, what, one of my favorite um, Nico bits is when um, he has that joke where he, he gets drunk and he tells um, I can't remember where you guys went, but he tells this lady, he's like, um, well, I was six or fate of seven. And he's like, oh, yeah, because seven <laughs> was black. <laughs> oh, he's like, yeah. Nico, uh, Nico honestly crushed in New York, which was the greatest stand up show we ever did. It was probably one of my best opening sets with uh it was all like crowd work and a few jokes then uh ryan long crushed and then we put on freaking nico last austin and it was like joe rogan was up there or something <laughs> like it was like immediately gets on stage he was holding his camera while he did this whole set oh that's hilarious dude he killed like it was like like I'd never seen anyone kill in there, dude. Like it was like I've never seen anyone kill like him. Like it was like every joke. joke was just like ah! It was uh, probably a really good experience for him. I don't know why he. And then we told him we would put him on shows every now and then because he could do like a solid three to four minutes. Like yeah, but he never came down and never did any of them. So I don't know. He didn't catch the bug, even though he was doing like it was. It was a lot of fun. You said that he's gonna he's willing to come to a show, right? A comedy show. Yeah, he said yeah. he was gonna come and hang out. So. You might we'll catch him on the show. Right. Yeah, if you guys come out to the shows we do in L.A., you know. And yeah, this guy might take a picture of your penis. That's true. He will take a picture really? of your yeah. penis. Yeah. I'm just so surprised uh, that Mousecock all Miguel. the people yeah. I do. Like, I know. I was just going through my random Instagram DMs, and I see this guy message me that's like, Yo, bro, what's good? <laughs> P. Oh, God. My giga. And then he has like black hand emojis i thought it was a black guy for sure <laughs> I, guess. I was just like this dude seems funny let's bring him on the pod i had no idea you he's were just smart dude him. he's smart he knew it he knew how to manipulate you he probably was sending you anime memes and then <laughs> okay. like black black emojis and he got you dude and why, got me, bro. why do you have the black emoji like sets i told you I'm, my parents are black bro i'm just trying to keep with the culture maybe bro. he's serious bro maybe he's, he got culture. adopted by african parents which they're probably every day they're like why did we give this guy a chance. He is a bum. <laughs> he is a bum. They said it like that. Huh? Rem remember uh, King Doom the Dead? Doom the Dead? Do, do, do Kembe. No, I, I forgot what it is. It was, King Crocs. It was, wait, I, I, let me try to remember. King Baba Crocs. Tunde. Baba Tunde. Baba Tunde. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's actually my uncle. That's he what? Baba uh, Tunde, yeah. dude. He probably has a. I mean, if he if he has an, if his, if his family from Baba Congo, Tunde. I mean, it's like it's like a, it's like Armin and Armenian. It's like Miguel. I will yeah, feed yeah, yeah. you to the hippo. We uh, we what's your real name? Picture of them nah, we, you, know, what, you don't want to say your real name? Oh, uh, you call me Pillow, Pillow Pants. All right, well, Pillow Pants, you are officially Mini Mousecock Miguel. I think you're a double. It's got to be Mini Mousecock Mini Miguel. Mouse? The, the real Mousecock was kind of bigger. Mouse. You're Minnie Mouse. Yeah, you're Minnie Mouse. You're the one wearing the Minnie Mouse ears all the time. Well, I pants. have a lot of stock in Disney, and they've been. It's been going up. All right, if you would have bought it at eighty two months ago, it's at one twenty now, boys. But you know, I'm wow. still down. But it's not bad. It is going back up because they realize, you know what I mean? It's still an institution. 
and they got a lot of subscribers and they got some India stuff going too. All right. They got cricket in India, which is a big market. Uh, but enough about Disney. You know what I mean? I was actually going to ask Kelvin, do you think like there's animosity, real animosity with between you and Danny, because you did have sex with a fan prior to Danny knowing that, you know, or prior to Danny knowing you really, you had, you took advantage and did have sex with a fan. Oh, he was hating that you, that you didn't get first steps, huh? No, 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 no. He, we talked about that. No, you had anal sex. Other people were fans, there too. And that is just wrong. <laughs> so, you know what I mean? He should be, there should be animosity. No, no, no. That was you took full advantage. You were oh, like, okay. I know Danny. Oh, I have yeah. one speed dial. Some Somebody else. Should I that's how it starts, him. dude. That's the cancel. I was just, I was just him, you know joining I mean? the, the crew because other people were there. And I, mm -hmm. I that was the third girl that was available. And I had to do what I had to do at the time. And sure. That's what it was. I mean, you you could vouch for me there. I mean, Kelvin does have great game, dude. I, it's honestly it's unbelievable how good his game is. L.A. game too, which like he can go and like pull like some hotties that are at a club that are at another guy's table. Kelvin will like still riz them up, which I think is. Sometimes in LA you got to do that because Mr. Girls, Steel Girl. Kevin's game. I mean, Kelvin's game Try is not to. intense, dude. He'll like, you've seen it. Chase a chick down, bro. Yeah. he would be like, hey, <laughs> hey, hey, stop. Yeah, I've seen him do <laughs> that. Let me get your Instagram. Stop I'm like, damn. This. Yeah, yeah. Which is aggressive, dude. <laughs> it works funny. though, bro. Is that the Latino in you? I don't know. I have to do my people good. I'm proud, I guess. What I did your people. What did your dad Did your dad ever talk to you about Riz or any anything or talking to girls like any advice at all? I know your dad has, and you know mm -hmm. what's crazy. My dad and I never spoke about stuff like that. It's always been a little awkward. I feel like I can, mm -hmm. but I, I kind of don't. I almost don't want to know. Like mm -hmm. same with my dad, doing. we never you know really I mean? talk about chicks. Yeah. I talk about chicks with my mom more than anything. This is my all dad's I like so stoic. Yeah, mm -hmm. he doesn't, he's like doesn't speak too much. You know. I, I remember this my dad. Uh, he told me, um, "Sex feels like, or when you come, it feels like when you pee." But like a thousand times better, mm. and low okay. key, like it, it does. Okay, I can see what you mean. He, that. Yeah, that's a good like kind of way to. to I mean, that's it not doesn't a bad feel way anything to. like peeing though. But you know that <laughs> when you really have to pee and you get a little dopamine rush, like yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, type, type of shit, yeah, yeah. All I know from my dad's past is that he used to be a bartender, like where he was. Like at one point in his life, he was a bartender. So th I'm that's sure when something. That's he got shady, dude. I'm sure he just hasn't told me, and I don't really want to know, but. Mm -hmm. It's all good. I'm, I'm curious. That'd be interesting to see like what your parents did. Like if you had a camera, like recording what they did back then. I think my dad sheltered me a lot because he grew up in the seventies in New York where, it, and, and crap was just like out of control. So he had to like, you know, he had to be like, you know, I'm not going to let my for sure borderline sex addict <laughs> son, you know what I mean? Do this. You Julio. know what I mean? Julio, yeah. All right, let's call Ratik. He texted me back. Just to, you know. Did you see Rad Dick like randomly showed up my house like streaming? Yeah, I saw that. We'll call him out. He got a lot of right views now. for that. It was like yeah. one sixty or something. Well, like I went that. walking around my block and talking with him for a while. You could have kept streaming with him. You would have made more, I think. Is that on TV? I did. Well, Chobo, did you right? see like the end of it? I think so. Where I was walking around with him. Afterwards, people were like, "Yeah, was it just you or them? I like everyone." It was me and Fez walking yeah. around with Rad Dick and that other guy. You guys should do that more often, Loki. I wouldn't really have cared if it wasn't for the fact that he brought this like random Latino guy to my house that I didn't know. He him? was cool, I yeah. guess, but I wasn't about to bring... It's a matter of time before, the, yeah, somebody that Rat Dick brings over robs you guys blind, you know what I mean? No, that's yeah. what we don't want. He does need a driver, though, someone to help him get around town. I bet he needs a driver, dude, but, like, you know... That's if, why he always brings, like, a random person. Yeah, but yeah. they don't have cars. It's the problem. That guy didn't have a car no. either? But he was maybe, like, down to Uber him? No. That's how he, he does was his camera man for the day. Yeah. That would be a good movie, like, instead of driving Miss Daisy, driving Rat Dick, Ralph, like, that would be a crazy-ass movie. If there's crap. any fans out there that want to drive Rat Dick, around, Rat Dick Ralph around, <laughs> hit him up. He's super down. Take him to his drug deal. Y'all make stuff. jokes about Aaron, like, being Dino's cameraman. Sure. But it's like, if you're going to be Rat Dick's cameraman. That's intense. That's like the big leagues, dude. <laughs> like, like that's, gotta, that should be, like, what every... Like, you know, hard when you, mode. Yeah, when you come up, you come up as a videographer and you're trying to get a name out there, you're like, hey, dude, I did I did rat dick time. What, what if rat dick offered Six you like rat. 10 times more than Danny offered you to fucking be a swimmer? Impossible. He would do it. But no. it, if, he, yeah, if he offered you that much, you would have on, to 10 do times it. I mean, it's I so know, hard. Uh, dude, I know we get paid. He would have to. You would have to do it. I did it. I, like, I remember how I did it one day. Yeah, you did the pickle in the ass. Yeah, you saw that. One or two okay. times I did. Like, I did. I was his cameraman. It's so hard. You really have to manage a bunch of stuff. You have to manage him. You have to manage, like, you have to do damage control. Yeah. You have to, like, get in his mind and be like, no, dude, Rattic, don't run away or whatever. It's hard. You Is need it, someone. Was it harder than working for Danny? In, a, diff for in a different way, <laughs> for sure. In a different way because D Danny is at least like, like, he knows, he has his wits about him. Yeah. Everyone, like, everyone's socially, like, 
intelligent like mentally stable for sure yeah. but i mean erratic deep down i think he has a good side of him and stuff but like it's hard he's very like he doesn't have a lot of guidance and people around him that mm-hmm. can help him propel like, in the right direction erratic was in my front yard when i wasn't home i was with my parents like buying tuxedos and then erratic was in my front yard just hitting whippets and then my neighbor that like shares this building with me like came downstairs and was like, "Bro, like who the fuck are you?" He's like, "I'm looking for I'm Austin's friend. I'm oh, looking for damn. Austin." I had to so go that, upstairs and like talk to my neighbor and be like, like "Yo, my bad. Like, so that made you look bad." If you see that guy, you know, sorry, yeah, I wouldn't blame you for just calling the cops immediately. Yeah, what do he say? What do he say back? Uh, no, he's cool. Like. Yeah, we kind of joked about it. He was like, "So is this like one of your guys from the podcast?" I was like, "Yeah,", yeah. and he like, he's just like basically coming over to fuck with me because yeah. he hasn't been on the podcast in a little while. And and he can't do the two things that we need him to do, guys. I mean, obviously, we a part of us, you know, wanted to have a, an RDR segment towards the end of the pod would be funny, you know, every couple of weeks. But the guy can't give his dogs up, and now he's homeless. He got officially evicted. I guess I don't know what that means. I th- I feel like. Maybe the cops came. Well, well, I was, I'm trying to call him to find out about that. Yeah. But also, he just doesn't get clean off the drugs. And he continues to like, lie and tell me that he is. And then like some kid will send me a stream. And he's doing like Zanny bars or whatever he's doing now. But like, I feel he, like he needs like a person to be there with him like all day, 24-7, and just like whip him into shape. It's almost like he does, but he, she doesn't do anything. No, but yeah, it's hard. It, do any you can't. No, because look, if you have a rela- the relationship you have with your girlfriend should be different from a relationship you have with a friend or someone like that. It's hard to be, have her do that. Cause it's like, they have a relationship. I think them. euthanization would be probably the best move for him. He is a lost <laughs> cause. We could right? give him a lobotomy. <laughs> that would work. I don't too. even think people would press charges against us. They'd probably thank us. <laughs> he does need some, a lobotomy. That was the old school. Like what, what was the problem with lobotomies though? They were like, destroy your brain. Like, yeah, they know? just make you into a retarded person right, so that you, like they don't vegetable. have to deal with you being erratic anymore. Right. Yeah. That's what they, yeah, that's in, it's in, uh, they lobotomize, uh, uh, it's, uh, Jack Nicholson's character in that one movie. God damn it. Well, yeah. One flew over the cuckoo's nest, uh, a classic. It's very sad. He like helps a couple of them escape and then they catch him and then they lobotomize a really cool guy in Jack Nicholson in that movie. You haven't seen it. Check it out. One flew over the cuckoo's nest. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry for that. Oh, but yeah. yeah, I, uh, dude, I don't know. I, I personally, Needs Rat therapy dick. and he needs like counseling and maybe yeah. take care of his like jail stuff. I had an ex girlfriend, man. She was uh, pretty much like really addicted to weed and uh, she would do like coke with her friends and Adderall and all that crap. And then she went on a retreat, man. Like uh, some old lady says, she says an old lady paid for it. It was like 15 grand for seven days. And she actually, I'm sure it was like a sugar daddy that paid for it. But anyway, she did. She went on that retreat and she came out of it like drug free and just an, a boss forever. And now it like bought a house and is killing it in stunts. It's kind of crazy how much her life changed within that one, like that one year where she just went. It was like January and she went to a, a goddamn like, I guess, some kind of rehab, man. But they reshaped her thinking. And then like now she's a boss, dude. So I don't know. They yeah. replaced her. Maybe they replaced her, dude. Lobotomized. Maybe she got lobotomized. RDR told me he had like a heart to heart once with me in person. Mm -hmm. And we're talking. I I was driving him one day somewhere after Mm -hmm. one of the streams or whatever. And I asked him. I wanted to find out. I was like, and then he told me that he does the drugs because deep down he's like in a lot of pain. And I was like, damn, that's just got real. I think it's escape reality. No, no. We've dug deep into him. We've dug we've dug into him. And it's it's definitely doing meth with his dad. And then. I think it's the the guy that he killed with that other guy by accident. It was an old woman. lady. Yeah, it was an old lady. Yeah, when the, uh, the the old lady that they killed and he was in the car, I feel like that just messed up his brain for life. Yeah, because that, that counseling that, therapy. Remember last last uh, like couple of, uh, pause ago, you guys like went through his um his old Instagram member and he yeah. looked like fairly normal, you know. Besides. Yeah. Maybe kind of like sus pictures of him with his. <laughs> <laughs> he hates that we brought that up, but they were kind of strange pictures. <laughs> a little, a little yeah, suspect, yeah, they were but a little I mean. Sus. You know, yeah, for the most part, really wholesome. And then yeah. now you see him on the channel, it's like, what? That, know, that has right. to be like your twin brother. That can't be the same person. Yeah, yeah. I think, honestly, though, jail fucked him up more than anything. That's like, a good point. He might have gotten raped. Like, ever since he got out of jail, he's been 
basically had post traumatic stress disorder. Yeah. yeah. And he knows that like since he hasn't gone to his probation that he's just facing jail again. It's only yeah. gonna get worse. So now he's like, Well, I might as well do as much drugs as I can before I get locked up and have fun and go all of these raves. And That's if I smart. happen to overdose and die, well at least, you know, it happened like I don't have to go to jail. No, you literally this is all he has to do. Go to the public defender's office. Yeah. Like who said that? Who gave him that advice again? Uh, that was uh, Danny's, Danny's dad, dad yeah. Gary, dude. Public defender's office, and he, I, I told, I told him, and he was like, "They're not gonna get me. Like if I go there, they're not gonna arrest me." And I'm like, "No, dude, just go to the public defender's office. I, I feel like I might have to go with him, but whatever. Mm-hmm. Public defender's office, and then find just out what he find out what yeah. he's facing. Yeah, mm-hmm. realistically, and how much jail time he really has to do, or if he does at all. Right. And then after he finds out, he has to make a decision, and then go through with that. And then eventually you'll you'll have his ID after he gets it all done, and then he can continue his life. Dude, he could get his ID right now. He's just stupid. You know what I mean? He's an idiot. But he could totally get his ID right now. But anyway, we'll we'll call him up in a second. What's up, everybody? We got the moment some of y'all been waiting for. We are gonna check in with none other than RDR. What's up, Rat Dick? You what you doing, dog? Yeah, I'm just chilling in the hotel room right now. All right, so you got a hotel room, and uh, you you were you made enough money streaming to get a hotel room right now. Um, how much was that? How much did you spend? Band. I'm curious. That was Pamela. It was in the, the her job money to get the hotel. Okay, nice. Now, what you had one little assignment, right? You have these creatures that live with you, right? And you, we were kind of tired of you jerking off on them, you know, whatever you were doing, and and we wanted you to give them a good home, right? Because yeah. they don't deserve, they don't deserve to be living in their own filth. So how's that going, dude? Where are the dogs? Oh, we got the dogs with us. They're traveling with us. So um, mm. we're having a hard time um, housing us and the dogs, though. We uh, we we uh, we have this hotel room until tomorrow, and we have like five hundred bucks. So we're gonna find a place that takes a. Uh, Day by day for for hundred dollars uh, a night, so we're gonna go there with the dogs. It's in LA, so that will be easy for me to work. But we're gonna like be out of the money by next Wednesday, so we got to try to find a way to like raise money. What should he do? The rental. Why can't you just take all the dogs to this woman, dude, and just solve your problems? You sick bastard. You could still see. We're gonna solve the problems temporarily, though. Yeah. Well, how much better would you be, uh, like, if you didn't have five dogs with you, though? Yeah, as they scream in the background. Yeah, I'd definitely be a little better off. Um, you know, I'd be able to get uh, a little yeah. Now, you want to, you, I mean, Rattic, do you want to get on my good side? Do you want to be friends with me? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So what's up with these Trovo names I keep hearing about? Hmm? The mayor of Tavia? Yeah, and what was the other one? Now you got a new one, I heard. Leo's daddy. Yeah. Leo, Leo's daddy. Yeah. Yeah. So what's yeah. going on with that, huh? Not bad. It's, I can't use any rat related names or I get deleted immediately. So, I have to use. so you on the shitty Trovo live stream that takes half your money because, you know, because you put bottles up your ass or whatever the hell you do. But like wh- you keep getting deleted off that, man. Like, why can't you adjust your stuff a little bit like do you have to put a bottle of hot sauce up your ass do you have to put a bottle of pacifico up your ass and then drink it like is that really necessary for your fans you did that for 16 dollars i heard they wanted that they wanted that for 16 dude you could have like you could have held out for a little bit more bro like what are you doing yeah it's uh they push me and if i don't do it they won't send anything so they bully him dog they bully him. That's a good you deal. Sixteen dollars. So your yeah, fans I bully you. I've been setting goals. I set fifty dollars goals, take laxatives, and get a subway sandwich. Oh, why would so, you do that? There's probably other. I mean, I'm sure the dickers want to see you go out and maybe like do a joke laugh. The do the Joker laugh, dude. Do the Joker yeah. laugh. What? What's with this? <laughs> Rat yeah. Listen. Once you once you became this streamer that shits in a pan. You know what I mean. Like you got to re- yesterday. Yeah, but there's not going to be much like much you can do to kind of do more than shit in a pan. You know what I'm saying? Like, and the guy that paid you to do that, he DM me and he apologized to me and he's like, "Dude, I was drunk and I just I had to." And I was like, "Sure, you know what I mean? You had to pay Rat Dick to shit in a pan. That's that's fine. But why is it that you can't maybe start?" 
pivoting towards a different direction. Text to speech was working for you, right? You tried yes, to ruin one of my shows. That wasn't cool. Yeah, it, it works. If I go to certain situations, I do certain things. Uh, it blows up, you know, with your Austin's house. <laughs> yeah, dude, you know, you can't, you can't do that stuff if you want to get back on the pod, bro. I'm just telling you right now, man. Yeah, my you, neighbor's probably going to call the cops now. Dude, the neighbor you hates you, dude. The neighbor's like a woke, like, nice guy, and he just, like, doesn't, me- he doesn't mess with you, dude. Has to be yeah, smarter yeah. about it. I was in Austin for the Austin's house recently. Yeah, why would you do that, man? Do you want to? Don't you want to get on our good side, man? We're, we're all we're trying to do is grow the channel together. You could help us do that. You know what I mean? Like people want to hear about you. Even Trey Cyrus, dude, for example, <laughs> our biggest fan, our our most famous fan. He loves you, but not when he saw that you DM'd him saying you were gonna fuck Miley. He was gonna send yeah, you seven hundred bucks, bro. You should DM him and apologize. Is Miley Cyrus? What's up? The girl who sends you money, they say she's actually Miley Cyrus. Yeah, I bet. I bet Miley Cyrus sends you money. It's <laughs> something you'd believe uh, online, dude. You are. What do you mean, dude? Rat Dick, what is your plan for the future? Like, are you gonna are you gonna d- get rid of the dogs, bro? Like, people really want to beat your ass because of that. Yeah, I need to, so I so I can have a place to stay. You know, I can't keep these dogs. And All right, well, why don't you them. just go take care of that today? He wants to keep visiting them. Yeah, yeah. You know, just, he wants to keep uh, coming on your backs, you know? Me. Yeah, is it is it because you want to keep masturbating with them in view? I mean, you have to do it with them in view. Like, there's never a time where you're like, maybe I should put these guys yeah. away before I put something up my ass. Yeah, I, I need the pugs there to do it, you know? It's, just, it's like a fucking... We're bros. The dog licked up the hot sauce that poured out oh, of his ass. Oh, no, dude. You you let the dog lick the hot sauce, bro, that came out of your ass, bro? Bonding ritual. Yeah. You should be you euthanized, know, no, man. No, no, What if he takes it to a place no, no, where that dog, person allows the, visitation? The dog drank the fucking beer that came out of my ass. Honestly, why would you do that, dude? That is so messed up, dude. Yes. Like, you know, there's going to be a lot of people that hate you for doing that. You realize that, right? That was a, dude, that emotion, that... It was a fucking inspirational video. It had your name in the background. Honestly, the next time I down. see you, I might just slap you really hard for doing yeah. that, dude. You know what I mean? He did. Yeah, he did come on your picture of, with your sister in it too. Oh god! <laughs> he came on a picture of your sister, Leo. Dude, I didn't know that. You that came dude. on a picture of my fucking sister, Ratic. No, it was a view, man. Ratic, listen. Next time, me and you. Uh, next time, you're like drug free, and you get rid of the dogs, and I can see you again. Me, you, sixteen ounce gloves. Backyard. Are you down? All right. I'm down, dude. I'm a real boss. All right. I'm gonna I'm gonna go hard though. <laughs> I'm right. gonna go hard. I'm not gonna All be right. easy on you. All right, You're gonna, gonna get a mouth guard. You want a mouth, you want a mouth guard? guard we'll go. We'll go hardcore. You want a mouth guard? Yeah. You ain't got no dental insurance, dog. If I get punch you, you're gonna I'm gonna knock your tooth out, dog. You ain't got no dental insurance. What are you gonna be a toothless ratty? No, we, we, we need a headgear and mouth guard. We'll All right, you hard. need headgear and a mouth guard. Okay, now the truth comes out. I got the gloves, but you're gonna you're gonna help me out and get a mouth guard. I gotta get one for you. I'll get a mouth guard. A few bucks. All right, so get a mouth guard for yourself. I'll bring the gloves. Yeah. You're gonna use hand wraps. Or you're gonna break your hand. I don't need hand wraps. Oh, you don't need hand wraps. Okay, well, I'm gonna use hand wraps and I'm gonna I'm gonna pummel you, dude. I'm gonna pummel you to the ground, dude. I'm gonna okay. beat the living crap out. I'm gonna beat the dog abuser out of you, you piece of shit. I'm gonna have to beat you, and then I'm just squirt mayonnaise on you. That's everybody wants to do. It's impossible for you to do because you're not gonna beat me. I'm gonna beat I, you so bad, you, dude. Put I'm gonna freaking show. I'm gonna Philly shell you. You're not gonna know what the hell to do. And you're me and you are both heavyweights, so this is actually the only no, no. solid fight. I can't fight anybody on YouTube because unless it's Bradley Martin, so. I'm not big enough to fight Bradley. He doesn't want to, he doesn't want anything to do with me. I DM'd him about it, but Bradley's not down to fight me. But I'll fight the I'll fight Ratty right here at the backyard of the crib. And I'm gonna show you what's up. You understand me? Let's go. All right, Ratty. You know, honestly, I heard that you lost to like some chump at the uh, at the at the freaking at the sesh, dude. Gary Paulson. Shout out Gary Paulson and Ben Morales, our boys. From uh, Oxnard, uh, Santa Barbara area. They're comedians. Uh, one's a musician, actually. But he, they were on the pod. But, they, yeah, they told me that they uh, they went to the sesh boxing match that you were at. And you kind of held your own for a little bit. But then you you wore some shots and you got, like, knocked down. Is that true? 
Uh, I don't know. I was, I was doing pretty good. I, I, I got uh, pushed over. Did over. you lose the fight? I guess I lost the fight because I got pushed over. But I was on, I was one of the best shots, you know. All right. Well, how do you feel, man? What kind of drugs are you really on, though? Be honest. What's the last time you did? Don't lie to me. What's the last time you did some hardcore drugs? No drugs. No Sounds drugs. Good. No. I mean, he does. Honestly, he does sound sober right now. This is this is the best ratty, the one that's sober. So it's just dabs again. Yeah, just dabs today. That's good. Look, dabs. ratty, get rid of the dogs, bro. Like, give up on them, bro. They don't even like you, dude. That's true. They held captive. They're just held captive and they're shitting all over the place. I mean, I don't, I don't get it, man. Get rid of the goddamn dogs, dude. And when you're clean and you could show me that you're clean, maybe, maybe we could have you back on the pod, bro. But till then, he'll save a lot of money too if he gets rid of them. Till then, dude, we'll I don't know. Some. Yeah, well, you'll save a lot. His of neighbor money. like Korean, he could have just given the dogs to him and make some food out of it. Yeah, I mean, you you could sell the dogs on the meat market, dude. Oh, you could yeah. sell it on the on the on the black market meat market. Now, you know what? Money. You you if you love the dogs, you should get them some help. You know what I mean? Like they're free housing. Like you can't. You're not a good dad, dude. You know, you're, you're like social services would take your kids so quick, dude. Yeah, that would be a good idea, kids. I like... Are you still trying to come in RPP, dude? I come here, but not having kids. So. Have you been thinking about no. Indica Moon recently? Be honest. God. Am I thinking about what? About your girl, Indica. <laughs> You're gonna no, I stopped talking to her. Oh, really? Are you yeah. on speaker right now? Am I on speaker? Yeah, you guys, but you're in the bathroom. I'm away from her. She actually stopped talking to her. She's, she was just using me for clout and all that. And she was just using me for like somebody to talk to her. Thing. She, just, she just blow up my phone all day and expect me to talk to her. I'm just like, oh, I just, I just Damn. What kind of conversations stuff. would you have with her, man? Like, yo, you, you, oh, you're stressed? You should hit a dad. Or I got Zanny bars. What kind of conversations do you have? Like, tell me, like, do things, like, leave RPP and go, like, get a room or something. She'd go fuck me and work. Like, shit like that. I'd be like, no, nah, I don't know. It's going to work out, you know? He did get laid. I mean, Look, a, a lot of people are just like super impressed that you were able to get some pussy out of the situation. <laughs> yeah, dude, it's pretty impressive. I, you know, we we have a, you know, there's some vile girls out there. Uh, this pod has uh, this made me realize that there are some some gnarly girls willing to do some crazy stuff for a little for strange men <laughs> like she, you. She wasn't even that hot. She looked just yeah, like Rathic. You know, female version of Rathic. The, the tension and cloud that I could bring her. She wanted me to. Dude, it, it please her. And it, she, was, she was crazy. No, it wasn't, it wasn't uh, good, a good like side chick. She what, definitely was bad side chick. What about your warrants, bro? Answer. Let's talk about your warrants. Are you not worried about them anymore because those cops came? You were out. You were you were passed out on Zanny Bar. Somebody called the cops. They came and they didn't even give a crap about your warrants. So do you feel more powerful now? No, I feel just as sketched out. You know, it's because it was, it was on every side. That was the way, but it's so scary. You know, like. I get caught, so you'll never go to Riverside where your warrants are at. Well, I mean, I I'm looking for a place to stay in for a week to stay at a hotel six in Corona. It's like four hundred forty dollars mm. compared to LA. I'm gonna like leave that in the podcast and not try to help that. you out. <laughs> I'm not gonna cut that out. But anyway, um, listen, you need to relax, buddy, and uh, maybe you just need to face those charges and go to jail for six months or whatever it is because public defender's office. Yeah, man, it's yeah. like, or at least, what about okay? Kelvin's bringing up a good point. What about going to the public defender's office and just seeing what you're faced with? They won't get you in trouble. Yeah, I don't have a face with. You know exactly what you're faced with, how though? time he's... Like the charges? Yeah, how long do you really think that they're going to... Are they looking to put you away? Well, they're going to have to resentence me, you know? Do you think any of the dog stuff, if, like, people... You know, they're going to find all that, all the stuff you do with the dogs. You know, they, it's called, like, when they... In court, when you're, like, arrested, they have, like, a, a moment where they try to tell people that you're not a bad person. And, like, so, like, our people might go up there and be like, he's really nice, he you know, takes care of uh, the, the dab rig while I'm away at work. But like, and then, and then they're like, okay, thank you next. And then somebody's like, well, we actually, the pr prosecuting team is like, we actually have a video of him putting a bottle up his ass and then having his dog lick the remaining beer that comes out of his ass off the ground. 
how do we feel about this guy? They're going to be like, wow, why don't we add another 12 months to the sentence? You know, that's how it works, bro. Dude, I hope I get on that jury duty. Dude, oh my God. Hey, dude, dude, can you imagine you? being on that case, bro? Dude. Doing the jury duty? Dude, he came on you picture. think there's a jury out there, Rat Dick, who's not going to want to put you away and throw, out, throw away the key? Be honest. Well, we're going to do a jury trial, you know, it doesn't... I think I think you are going to do a jury trial. Do you know how, do you know how it works, dude? And if you want to try to get out of jail, you got to do a jury trial. Are you just going to take the charges and go to jail? Take a plea deal. Plea deal would be nice. Well, it's little, like if he goes to jury, then there could be like one cool guy in there that's yeah. just like he's innocent a no fan? matter what. Yeah, it's possible. Yeah. A There's fan. A Rat Ralph Hung fan jury? just holds down because you right. can keep saying one he's person innocent. is one all person, you need. Yeah. It's just one, and then they have a hung jury, bro. You can get off. You know but I mean? if they show the dog videos and shit, yeah, that could make a whole jury try to throw him in jail for life. Bro, you got to watch out with these videos because every time you do a live stream, like the fans put it online forever. They and clip then it. They clip it. Their favorite thing. I mean, you think the dickers like you, but their favorite thing is just trying to watch you and your demise. I mean, some they were of them, some, of them. some of them wanted you. A lot of people were hoping you got addicted to fentanyl. I think you avoided that, though. Are you would you say you're addicted to fentanyl? He avoided it. So, yeah. How did you avoid that, dude? I don't know. I guess the drugs I took just didn't have any fentanyl on them, you know? But, well, well, look, Rat Dick, listen, get rid of the dogs, bro, and get clean, and maybe you can come back on the pod, okay? And then I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to smash you in a heavyweight championship back here. You can stream it if you want. I don't give a crap. Tell him, and that, then, one, uh, tell him that one day he can maybe get the dogs back. Yeah, and no, one day they're going to never give you the fucking dogs back because you're a dog-abusing piece of shit motherfucker. But uh, you are never, ever going to see the fucking dogs again once you give them away because you're sick and disgusting. Oh, you God. make them lick your asshole, you piece of shit. And who knows what you do when the cameras aren't rolling. No. But uh, you aren't a bad... I don't think... Deep down, I don't think you're a bad guy, dude, to be honest, right, Dick? You let your dog, the, I, oh, you didn't let the dogs lick your asshole? That's some, somebody, that's just a rumor they made up? Well, that's just a rumor. All right, Rat Dick. Well, I, I'm going to let you go. Thank you for calling in. People wanted to hear about you. Danny's not here, so we wanted to make sure that we got, uh, you know, some people, uh, an exciting podcast. So, you know. Well, uh, yeah. this, this is the Leo and Danny show? Yeah, man. Ain't shit changed, huh? Why are you, why are you filming today? Well, we, uh, 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 my man Austin's going to his sister's wedding, so he's got to get out of town. Oh, well, bro. Well, you know it's it's gonna be back on the other day, so I hope you're back in person. You know, yeah, man. maybe one day you'll you'll and uh, you know maybe wash your feet, dog. You know what I mean? Maybe get that gunk under your nails. You know what I mean? Like get that yeah. shit out from under your nails, dog. That's what My the smell comes from. Like guy, Regular usually. bathing is important. Your neighbor told you you look like a homeless guy. Well, you do, dude. What uh, your neighbor? What at the hotel? What, what do you mean? You don't have a neighbor. You're homeless, dog. I was, I was squatting in Chadwick for twenty days. So the Asian we got, dude. We were in an Airbnb for a while, and then we. How did you get officially evicted? Tell yeah, us that. Tell us How did that happen? We ran out of money. So we went back to Chadwick, and we were staying in Chadwick for like a week. And when we first got there, the maintenance guy was like, "Oh, you need to leave." I'm like, "What do you mean?" Like, fucking, okay, my girlfriend just talked to the landlord, and, and he said that, like, we could be there. And he was like, no, you need to leave. We're calling the cops. And so I just, like, ran out, dropped some pan, came back home, and she, like, she talked to him. And I guess, like, we weren't allowed to be there till the sheriffs came. And then we were staying there up until, like, Wednesday. And then on Wednesday, the sheriffs knocked. They pounded on the door as, as I was waking up. Damn. And I was like, what the fuck? And I jumped off my balcony and I didn't answer them. And they came in the apartment and they locked the fucking the balcony. They pepper sprayed my dogs because when I came home, I could like, I could smell the pepper. Oh, oh my, my God. God. I got pepper sprayed from the blanket. Your poor oh, dogs got blanket. pepper sprayed because of you, Doug? I'm going to pepper spray yeah. you the next time I see you. Yeah, they got pepper sprayed. Okay, you got to get pepper sprayed on the pod for that if you ever come back. Because yeah, I, I really yeah. doubt you're gonna come. You're ever gonna come back because you're not gonna give up the dogs, bro. So. Dude, I can't believe you jumped well, off the balcony and got away. That's awesome. Kind of dope, huh? <laughs> because the hotel is upstairs and they only allow fucking two dogs, and I'm, I'm going to one tonight, and they only allow two, and I'm going to four, and it's like sketchy. RPP is a ride or die, though, huh? Yeah, for real. Yeah, sure. just in there Even after you just completely just embarrassed her on the podcast and broke up with her for a less attractive chick, in my opinion. Yeah, I mean that that happens, you know. You get then you chase the pussy, you do crazy things. Oh yeah, it happens. All right, you just chase the <laughs> pussy. Didn't you? That was evil of you. Did, you, did RP? How'd she get over that? I mean, but, but with the with the BBC know. neighbor Eric, dude. <laughs> oh yeah, neighbor Eric. What am I talking about? That's how she got over it. 
made her well, come like nine she times. She was not his second team to cheat on her for like two weeks or three weeks after that. And well, do you ever you you cheated on her? Great, bro. But like, do you ever like like are you hitting RPP doggy and just think about neighbor Eric just getting up all in there, dude? Do you ever think about that? I used to, but I let it go. You know, that's nice of you, man. You're you're very much like Gandhi in many in ways. Piece. I definitely let it go. I'm kind of trying to be above all that. But it's just so then like the cops knock on her door and she checks the mailbox and the mailbox says we're supposed to be out there by March seventh. It's March twenty seventh. So we're twenty days overdue. Wow oh my and god. He they emailed it. her saying the sheriff's completed the lockout and we're like, What the f- we have no money, it's on Wednesday night and we're like, We have nowhere to go to the police. We just we decided to stay there another night illegally and then Thursday comes and like we're expecting the animal troll to come back and the sheriff came previous day to like, collect all of our dogs. So we she takes a day off work and we get a U we um we tried to get a U-Haul in the morning, but she had a suspended license. We able to get one. And then we, God damn it. And her license yeah. is suspended because of her crashing into the the tree with the with the rental? Yeah. Yeah, wow. she drove into the last rental car we had. She drove it into a rental tree as I was blacked out on Xanax. And yeah. I woke up to a car crash. I was like, what the fuck? And oh, my God. Well, what kind of car tense. do you – I mean, how do you guys get a car now then if she can't? So, it wasn't expired. It was uh, no, it wasn't suspended. It was expired. So it was shit expired by something. We got a U-Haul vans. We got all of our shit from the fucking shower. The, the, the good shit yesterday, and like I made a shit swastika in the wall. I covered my, the, the wall in my. Nice shit. of you to do that after they gave you, dude. You're a piece of shit. Yeah. Why would you do that? They're gonna have to take a flamethrower to that motherfucking place, dude, because of you. The fans paid me fifty dollars. That hellhole. Fifty dollars, Leo. Oh dude, wow, you fifty. Have, you should have seen the videos. And when he had Airbnbs, he was just walking around the Airbnb, pissing on all the like in all uh, the rooms. You're motel, disgusting, motel, bro. Yeah. Why do you do that? Why do you ruin property like that? Like the, these people are are helping you out. You know what I mean? And you just pee yeah, on the floor at an Airbnb. Airbnb. Like, what's wrong with you, man? Oh, I'm gonna donut. crush you, bro. I'm gonna fucking crush you. He needs you come money, back. Leo. He needs money, bro. bro Dude, get a vaccine, go dude. get a fucking job as a, a Home Depot Mexican dog. Go and fucking wait at the Home Depot and go what? dig a pool or something. Dude, it's like I mean, honestly, I have, with I have a new friend. His name is Spick Jalapeno. No car, by the way. And, he, uh, no car. I, uh, he told me he's gonna find a job illegally. All right. Well, hopefully that's the case, bro. Would you even be able to hold a job, bro? There's no way, unless it's like Big Che's job at the fucking sesh. You can go move some tapes. Move some tables here, man. You know, yeah, he's man. got that job. You know, I wish I had that job, but no. They gave us the retard. Listen, stop. He's not a retard. He's a very intelligent man. Big Che is the man. Don't talk shit about Big Che, dude. He was a good guy. You saved his leg. You did the only good thing you ever did in your entire fucking life is save Big Che's leg. You understand me? He did. You know, Big Che left his credit card on my Xbox. I've attempted to just buy some shit. Why would you do that? Why would you do that? The guy's poor, bro. He gets well, I mean, it's probably some government V-books. money, so is he really stealing? You know what? Do it, dude. Just You know what? Do it. Go ahead and do it. I'm not going to call the cops or let anybody know that you're doing a, you know, credit card fraud and stuff. I won't do it. With all the extra you know. stuff Rad Dick has I been doing. Lately. I don't know about anybody else. Somebody else might call and say that you're doing credit card fraud no, with no. Uh, Big Che's uh, car. You know what I mean? Who knows? But, like, no, nah, I'm not going to do it. I on the Xbox, you know, and I went to his house recently. I brought him McDoubles. I'm like, hey, can we be friends again? He's like, oh, wow. He's like, no. Did he take the McDoubles? Like, He's not allowed to be your friend. Was his mom there? Well, yeah, who was there? It was just him and his dad and his caretaker and one of his other Mexican friends. None of them and wanted to was, kill you? Yeah, one of his Mexican friends, like, he like, kind of stood up and looked at me. I'm like, bro, it's trying to bring cheeseburgers. Did he take the cheeseburgers? No, he didn't take them. I ended up eating them. <laughs> You know, At least you tried to make peace. So, they weren't Big yeah, Macs. Least, yeah. It's nice that you tried to make peace with Jay, though. They, yeah, uh, uh, Austin brings up a good point. People want him back. Yeah. He's got to go to Mexico, yeah. dude. Yeah, Rattic? yeah, that's honestly, Rattic, you, you could stream in Mexico, bro, and the money would go a lot further. I'm thinking about if I was his like honestly. prosecuting attorney. Yeah. Dude, there would be like so much material just to fuck him like for life that yeah. he, like on camera now, dude. Yeah. Like, honestly, dude, he. Whatever time he's facing, it's like you could probably quadruple that. We'll see. I don't know. Dude, uh, a lot of people, dude, I mean, there's a rumor that you might be gone for a while whenever the cops do catch up to you. So if I were you, I would think Mexico might be a good idea. Or like, you know, go to like Thunder Bay up in Canada. My, a shitty my place. My sentence was only 90 days and I did half of that. So do it. Like, oh, you, you owe some time. You owe like 50 days. Where... Yeah, but like yeah, but you have all this property damage days. on video. Yeah, but you got property damage. You got credit card fraud. You got, uh, you got like, just, you it. got IRS fraud. You got like uh, abusing dogs. You got 
got like freaking uh, assault. Yeah, police have to charge you with all that. They're not going to go charge you with yeah. random shit. Assault. Your apartment complex, you'd be like, yo, this guy fucking wiped a shit swastika on yeah. the wall. I'm pretty sure that's a crime. I don't think you can just wipe shit. You can't just put shit on the wall, dude. I think that that's like some kind of crime, dog. I'm not that, even on the lease though, Pete, so it's purposely apparent. Yeah, it doesn't matter if you're on the lease or not. There's evidence. <laughs> there's there's pure evidence of you committing a crime. That I'm pretty sure that's like is, that anyway look I don't want to scare you or anything but listen I, I wish you well dude I um, let me know when you give up the dogs okay yeah bro I also want to tell you I met you know that black guy from Elders React he's the only only black guy on the I don't channel. know what Elders React is I know exactly who he's talking about it's what is a that a bunch of old people react to like shit on YouTube bro and he says he's popping dude I think you should meet him he's probably the old guy's black you know? bro you All should right. this is a good how'd you meet him get this yeah. information alright like, I got it I got that info alright I'll hit him up dude that's good shit thank you 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 do have a, a way of bringing some fire to the pod so I appreciate you alright this guy took pictures of fucking like Mel Gibson or some shit like for real that's dope the, all right that's dope that's dope all right man well I'll hit you up about that all right hell yeah bro I'm, a, I'm, just, I'm still doing my rap thing I'm keep streaming you know all right. try to get rid of this next stuff. trovo name you know, you know after you get banned from this one next trovo name go after somebody else okay I think they're you maybe maybe like uh I don't know. Go after uh, you know somebody else, but stop putting my name on the goddamn name Trovos. Mullen, but, you know, that, you know. <laughs> also, stop trying to leak. Don't don't threaten to leak your boss's number, bro. Why why would you be threatening to leak Danny's number? That's the dumbest thing you could do. The chat. People the chat. Are making Trovo names of Danny's number and saying, "Yo, I don't know how they got Danny's number in the first place." Because of you, bro. Yeah, accidentally leaked it. I don't remember, I don't remember ever giving out Danny's number. Seriously, dumb. Leaked it for like a second. Really? Probably leaked it, bro. Like, save his number in your phone, you dumbass. And they screenshot it. Yeah, save it in my phone, for real. Uh, all right man well you you can't even be you're so lazy you can't save danny's number in your phone so i really yeah, doubt that you're gonna do anything with these dogs they got pepper sprayed by the sheriff they didn't deserve to get pepper sprayed dog <laughs> did he leave no, anything at the apartment this fucking those cops bro they, they give fuck to his pepper spray dogs a lot the dog could probably bark at the cops like uh, fucking <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> poor dogs like, what an bro. They, they came on by their owner and then shot by the fucking out, cops you know, so this ain't not paid a deal Bro, yeah, the same week they licked your sh your ass beer, they got freaking abused by you, and then they fucking get pepper sprayed by a random white man, probably. How do they have them on the phone? And now they're fucking, like, like being transitioning through homelessness to yeah. this, like, Airbnb like hotel. Poor dog. The fans knows. already doxed me and tell my hotel address too somehow. I'm like, what the fuck? Some Man, the, the fans like you got somebody that is just you got an op, dude. You got somebody in there who doesn't <laughs> like you, dude. A mole. Yeah, just post my Definitely a mole, bro. Yeah, somebody who's got like your phone number, like on they, they got like everything about you, bro. It's not it's scary. Yeah, I even stream today, dude. It's just like fuck, bro. I fucking they they were offering me to fifty dollars a shit on Rapids and Pam. Of course she's not gonna do that, you know. So it's like I'll just, just give it a break. Fifty you know? bucks to shit right on Rap Pussy Pam. <laughs> Should he do it? Hey, dude, yeah. I'll throw in another fifty after she do, uh, ask if she'll do it for a hundred. Austin said uh, he'll throw in fifty for that See, as well. Dude, people pay for right, this, dude. Bucks right there. That's a hundo, wild. so we'll figure it out. I'll throw in. A, I'll throw fifty in there I'll too if she wants to get shit on. Okay, Rap Pussy Pam, come on. All right, let's go. One hundred and fifty bucks. Get shitted on. Yeah, I've been, I've been dabbing in my bathroom. Tell her some know, girls in Dubai get a little bit more than that, but, you know. The Does that pussy have a shower on for hours yeah, and hours? So. He's welted the bathroom door. Now Ask he's like, welts in the fucking door. It's really bad. Why would you have the shower on for hours and hours while you were dabbing? Yeah, I was dabbing and trying to cover the smoke and steam. Oh. Why can't you just go outside? Yeah, I could just go outside, but it's nice just dab in the bathroom. You know, my essential dabbing bathroom is. <laughs> dabbing in the bathroom is nice. Leo. Essential oils, Leo. <laughs> Dude, the hammer, the the long dick of the law is on his way to bang you. It, it's it's like getting blowjobs at the parking lot. The long dick of the law is after you, rat dick. And he's a ginger. I'm gonna figure it out, bro. Trust. And he might be a ginger. I don't I don't believe that you didn't get assaulted by that guy. By the way, there's no way a giant ginger was taking his cock out every day at you, and like you never had a socket or some shit. Yeah, he's just showing it to me. He's like making me sleep on his bum. He's like, my bitch, he's my bunk. What? You had to sleep yeah. in his bunk? You had to oh. sleep in his bunk? I just sleep on top. You know, they're, they're, they're bunk beds. He yeah. sleep on his top bunk. Oh, okay. I bet you got a lot yeah. of sleep, dude. Yeah, he's like, he had to watch over me. And I wake up in the middle of the night. 
He'd be looking at me and be naked and be like, what the fuck? That is the <laughs> most horrific thing I've ever heard in my life. Yeah. Especially being a giant ginger. That is just nuts. Oh, my God. All right, dude. We're going to let you go, dude. Thank you so much, Ratty. Good luck with the dogs. Yeah. Become a better human being somehow. I'm take one more dab in this bathroom. I'm going to figure out where I'm going to go tonight. There we go, Tell man. him you believe in him. I don't believe in you uh, at I all. Mean, but it's next Tuesday, but fuck. Good yeah, luck, man. And nice. when I when you come back, heavyweight championship between me and you. We'll start saving up these TTSs for these fucking hotel rooms. Save yeah. the money. Heavyweight championship, dog. Anyway, have yeah, a good might, one, bro. I might have to sell these dogs. All right, have a good day, Leo. Tell you me that, guys. Austin, Peace. Kelvin, all you guys. Peace out. Later, dude. Meow. Yeah. <laughs> That was ratty seems okay. Got a lot of info there. Uh, he's just still a dog abuser, but he's not at least he's not on Zans. Or well, fentanyl. every once in a while, yeah. you can have a productive conversation with Rat Dick. Yeah. And then it's like, hey, that went pretty well. But it lasts like an hour. Right. And like, then he forgets everything you just talked about. He'll put a, you know, I don't know. He's going to find an Aquaman doll and then name it Leo and put it up his ass by the uh, by the end of the day. So he's going to be like, well, I mean, the diggers told me to. So. He, yeah, can't, exactly. he can't drink or do drugs because it'll like mess him up. No, yeah, yeah, he's definitely there. Like he's definitely there. Just all that. Yeah. Today he yeah. was there for sure. He said he's going to sell the dog. So we'll see. I don't know. Kelvin, you are a good person, but you have to realize sometimes there's some bad apples out there. And I don't think he's going to do anything about the dogs. We we'll might see. just have we'll to see. like heist the dogs. I've already, I, a fan was on Talk that. Uh, one of the guys from Santa Barbara was talking about, he was, he has a pug himself and he said he would just go and meet up with RPP and take them all and wow. take them to a non-kill shelter and, or the pug queen. And then couldn't, RPP. and then RPP like is down. Yeah, and then yeah. she like at the last minute, like she tells Rattic and then Rattic shuts the operation down. Yeah. Yeah. No, yeah. like someone just needs to steal them against I both agree. Of their wishes. Like All we just them. figured the motel eight and Corona. Like, yeah. You just pull up. It's Rattic's not going to call the cops on nope. you. There's Mil- literally no chance he's going to call the yep. cops. Nope. On you. If you do, you, you're going to come up on 600 bucks. So whoever wants to do it, should we do it? You're thinking about a military extraction mission. That, yeah. That's like- exa- it's taken, bro. <laughs> we need Liam Neeson. <laughs> We literally need Liam Neeson to go in there and just freaking get the dogs back. It's funny, man. I used to, uh, when we had a weapons expert come and teach us stuff at Waterworld, and he was one of the homies of the stunt guys, and he had met him on the Taken set. And he was a real, like, life, like, he worked for the CIA, but in Britain. What are they called? The MI6? uh, MI6. The real one, not the The real one. one, Yeah, yeah. not the James Bond one. He worked for them, and he, he told us a story he said that one of his missions was to go into afghanistan extract a family and they didn't give him a gun or anything they said he had to find a gun in there and so he went in there bought a gun and then used it to extract a family and he told us he he didn't want to tell us he shot anybody or anything but he he told us the technique that they use that they teach is three bullets to the head and three bullets to your to your uh oh, like right. heart region yeah. to your chest that's like the do, 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 like in john wick kind of yeah. like they make yeah. sure that you're dead yeah it's like do, 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 and then move on to the next but so, yeah. this is in water world yeah was, we had a guy did you really in. get fired for getting too many blowjobs in the nah, it was uh, i had to resign <laughs> because yeah. basically when uh you need my big dick came out and uh <laughs> there was some bad headlines they did an internal investigation and it was just a bunch of girls who were like yeah i mean he dm'd me and then like we talked a little bit and then he likes to stop talking to me and then he's just creepy and then i'd be like oh this is when she said that she blew me and it was really fun in the jurassic parking lot it's oh, just yeah. a bad was the next so it was a lot of that kind of stuff i mean i'm a shady motherfucker i was just going for too many girls there dude i, I was treating it like a junior college it, dog it, I was just and now like, what is it that that black guy that took over your role is banging fucking, all these chicks now yeah dude now he's yeah. banging all the girls dog it's bullshit freaking bastard yeah that was a good video dude you know yeah. thank you for uh thank you for watching emerson dude fuck emerson just kidding i love that there guy he's <laughs> a great guy dude he's the, the, a great the guy. widest name for the blackest looking the guy. widest name for the blackest <laughs> if, you, if you were in leo's position would you have done all that if if he was in leo's position no uh, if you were in leo's was, position yeah would have then yeah if you were working at Waterworld doing all that bro i would have i would have probably been worse i, I probably would have been like eating my you need me like you didn't even know what <laughs> i would have said eat bro. that ass yeah there, i would have been like you need to eat that <laughs> Yeah, and I was, uh, you know, I don't shit where you eat, dude. I I would like hook up, like I would literally leave Waterworld and like I would hit on the security guard. I would hit on the, the female girl, security guard. the girl, yeah, the female security guard, the girl that was at the, f- the freaking checking people in. I would I would hit on one of the dancers in the park, and then 
uh, of the three, one of them would blow me. And then like I would, you know, the, my problem was like talking about it a lot. You never like talk about your conquests and then have other people talk and then they slut shame girls. And then that's when they start to really hate uh, you. Real men don't kiss and tell. Real men don't kiss and tell. Yeah. Kiss and yeah. Tell, yeah. And you kind of did on the podcast, but that's OK, dude. <laughs> yeah, you, know? you know, you know what? Yeah. That's all right. It's all right. Uh, she's a big fan, so I think she'll be like, oh, hey. La, 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 la. Okay. I'm sure she's going to love the fact that, you know, you, you told everybody that she ate your ass. And, yeah. You also, uh, uncircumcised penises. Mm -hmm. Bro. Are you uncircumcised? Are you? Are you? Team uncircumcised. Oh, we are right now. Oh, man. You are? It's so much better. Uh, you, you, you guys you guys don't even know. Like, you guys don't even know. It feels feels so much better. Oh, like it feels so seconds. much better. I get Tell to fuck it. my own penis skin. No, that is not what it is. That is not what it is. You pull it back. You pull, you pull it, back. it back. It looks the same. I dude, the first time I got discrimination for it was in when I was fourteen, and like I got pants, and everybody's like, "Oh my god, you're uncircumcised!" And they would call me the ant eater. They try to shame you. Uh, they try to shame eater. You. It's yeah, like on your eater. backstroke, right? Your <laughs> penis is like enveloping itself. It goes no, like back no. in. That, that, no, it that, doesn't. That's, that's if you're it, a small problem. If, if you have a really, if you had a ratty type dick, it, dude, ratty's uncircumcised dick would be ugly because his would like really go back into his body because it almost goes back into his body by itself and, and, and like double double <laughs> it and, and like overlaps it <laughs> i would get a little discrimination but it's never bothered me you know you can't let people uh you know those things bother you because you know at the end of the day you gotta you know no girls ever had much of a complaint i even had sex with a hasidic jewish girl and uh you know she was like your penis isn't kosher and that was all, but she still let it, she still put it in her mouth and put it in her pussy. I didn't get it in her ass. She was really young at the time. Exactly. I no was young of myself age. at the of time. Age. I hadn't even done anal. I didn't even do anal until I was like the Your upper penis 20s. like resembles like the serpent okay, from does the not. Bible and Adam and Eve. You know what I'm saying? That's it why is she a didn't serpent. want it. It is a serpent. The snake could be, it is sort of a phallic symbol. I agree with that, but it is really a woman. I mean, the Bible kind of, it, it, if, the, if you know, it was a chick that messed everything your, up. Your serpent literally talked that woman no into into so we wouldn't like Austin, technically if she hadn't eaten the apple i mean we could have all just been like nudist colony just love and i guess everybody yeah. would have been naked and it would have been dope huh it's all women's fault at the end of the day <laughs> God just damn like it. everything else and on that note guys this has been the leo and danny show hopefully we provided an entertaining podcast danny's gone this week but we'll be back to our regularly scheduled programming next week. And hey, check out the Patreon below. We'll, uh, you know, we we've been getting a lot of like uh, good stuff with the Patreon going. You know, we had uh, some some inner beef that we squashed last week. You know, we uh, we call uh, some interesting characters tonight. Today we're gonna have a, a guy who wants to be the channel driver on, and I'm gonna roast that motherfucker. <laughs> he should be coming in soon, right, oh, Austin? Really? Yeah, he can't come. Ah, oh, oh, damn it, dude. Well, oh. it's okay. Then we'll have somebody else on. Yeah. Either way, thank you for your loyalty. If you steal the Patreon, you're a pussy. And uh, we love you all. And Kelvin, you want to plug your your new stuff? Or? Yeah, I my new Instagram. Well, the Instagram is going to be ISO Kelv. I S O Kelv. That's pretty much it. Follow Kelv, dude. He's a good man, dude. He's got some good uh, stories. And my, my my man's here, Mousecock Miguel 2.0, Mini Mousecock Miguel, dude. Um, you can find me on IG on J underscore Mind Tricks. And if you need a guy to swipe a D pick somewhere deep in, in in a comedy club somewhere deep in the valley he'll do it he'll do it covert pillow pants baby peace